A dollar doesn't go very far anymore unless you're using Shopify. Just a dollar per month gets you a trial period at shopify.com slash wide open and your very own Shopify website is a huge step to start selling online. Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the US and they make it easy for anyone to set up a website. We have our website, cboystv.com through Shopify and we absolutely love it and I know you guys will too. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to Shopify.com shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash wide open crepes 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 brick crepes would be good right now <laughs> <laughs> i think you said um, gripes do you want to be in my interview ben no oh okay well I'm, I'm going around interviewing guys that wear shirts too small for them because they don't work out but they still want to look jacked I feel like Ryan's ads is when you wake up at 2 a.m. and George Lopez is popping up <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> you know, you, you always got to wonder if you should be buying something from a guy that rolls up on a Segway. <laughs> That's true. They are bad news. <laughs> Did you know the guy that invented the Segway died because he drove it off the Grand Canyon? What? <laughs> what? We should fact check this. But I swear <laughs> that is what I. That is the story I heard. No he way. He drove it off a cliff. On accident? I would. As far as I know, he didn't leave a note. Oh, dude, <laughs> when you search up how did the inventor, that's the first thing that comes up. Okay, Jimmy Heldzen didn't invent the Segway, but he was the company's owner when he tumbled off a cliff while riding an all-terrain oh Segway. Gosh. Oh, that's not a good look. Okay, so it wasn't the Grand Canyon. No, at least, dude, he was about it. Close enough. He was about it. He was riding his Segway, his Saturday, creation, he was spending, yeah. around the Grand Canyon and fell in. That's, <laughs> <laughs> on that note. Man, that's tough. Sorry, that I is, derailed us there. Life's just uh, about finding new places to scroll Instagram reels. You have to be, like, top 10 all time for, like, wet mornings. Uh, the, uh, like you get oh woke. yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. no you, definitely you, you get woken up by an absurd guy, amount right? of water <laughs> oh. <laughs> top ten top that's ten my boy time. Mike <laughs> wet Mike yeah. well if you look at like where they I bought do. my Hummer he's got a big sign he's got his own dedicated shop it's got an office it's got a bathroom it's got a workspace he's got a stupid clientele <laughs> mm-hmm <laughs> Nah, dude, how's Ryan going? just put wheels on his Hummer, bro, and it looks flipping amazing. What do you mean, how's it going? He's wearing a Hummer sweatshirt. He's yeah, clearly pretty proud, pretty bro. Good. Okay, well, he'll pop a picture up right here. He put, like, big old black wheels on it, and they're, like, 13.5 wide. Looks amazing. Yeah, it's a good rig now. I mean, I don't know. I guess it just, just needed wheels. wheels. It's a good just needed wheels. Now, All the problems before. He put the, the wheels door. on, and the rear stopped The rear <laughs> suspension stopped leaking. <laughs> the brakes started working. Uh, the brakes still the don't. The motor work. stopped knocking. <laughs> uh, the motor knocks a little. You bit. didn't have Sizzlers fix the brakes? No, it was good. he wanted to like, put a whole new system in. It was going to be like twelve hundred bucks. Ah, that's twelve percent of the vehicle. Yeah, precisely. And I know Dude. you guys love to just belittle me for buying this cheap car because I don't have as nice a <laughs> stuff not, as you. No, no we're, we're not. not. We're you not. Put, <laughs> you literally put on the Snapchat polishing a turd. <laughs> <laughs> like no, it's him. just I don't know, dude. I save so much fucking money driving this car for the five months that I have to drive it. It does just fine. I drive nowhere. But I don't need to spend all the money on another car. I'm going to next year. I'm gonna buy a I nice car. No, 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 no. But we're, I, that's not the point. That's we're not belittling you. We're just we're just, just making not a joke. How much money I know it's, it's just a constant it's just joke. Funny. No, it's just funny. It's just a it's, constant joke. It's, just it's not funny to me. Broken though. It's just like no, so it isn't. Many I literally have not. Not driven it like one time because it was broken. Driven it, I've driven it every day getting home. Right? And I'm gonna. I can't I completely agree with that, but I I do want to say we're not making fun of you because it's because uh, it's not expensive or it's not nice or whatever. It's just more so funny that like you got it and it just like has caused so many problems. I think mm -hmm. it's like, and it's not like major issues, obviously. So it's like kind of funny to like. Yeah, <laughs> just watch. No, no. It's, it's also funny, funny that me. it's a Hummer. I think. Yeah, that's why I but got it. Yeah, I'm exactly. just wondering because CJ really wanted a Hummer I too, did. and at one point an H2, and I'm like, <laughs> I wanted learned. exactly <laughs> Ryan has. No yeah, lesson learned. But I was like, would he be getting the flack? <laughs> I I don't know if he'd have cool well, Hummer. Well, it depends like if that, mine was but. breaking like his, I suppose. And and knowing you, it wouldn't. You would have spent 25k on a minty, minty one. Yeah, and I rode in. I, I rode in one like that, and I still was like, this thing seems like it's gonna give me a lot of trouble. 
So I didn't oh, he was going to, Ryan was going to sell it to Siege. No, not <laughs> him, dude. I was so close. <laughs> I've never met somebody who hates dealing and talking to people more than Ken, <laughs> but who's, who's in customer service, dude. I'll give you some credit there, Ken. You do great with the customers and maybe not so great with, with our immediate friends that are trying to <laughs> right, get a hold of you. Okay. I don't think it'd be that crazy for Ken to have a business. I, I don't either. I think it'd be worth it for that matter. He could have his government name, phone, and then his... His Ken phone. But I'm also Ken thinking has two Ken phones just in two his pocket. Separate lives, Ken's walking dude. around with like, you know the people that like set their phones down and there's two of them? They're walking yep. around holding two phones, pulling them both out. It'd be a real businessman. It's pretty Ken's, baller. But I'm scrolling on both hands. I'm also thinking even <laughs> if we have- Reddit accounts for everything. You can. Imagine Ken Akimbo scrolling. Yeah, he's got- <laughs> Ken, I can see it. He's got Twitter up on one and Reddit, Reddit up on the other. other. <laughs> Taking in all the so information. <laughs> Ken like starts getting like the the lizard eyes where they go out because oh, no. he's looking at both of them. <laughs> Taking That's scrolls a, to a whole nother yeah. level. But I did want to give you credit, Ken. You do a damn good job with customer service. And if you have ever ordered something, you've dealt with Ken personally. And I hope you've had a good experience. All right, Nikki. Last question for you. I'll let you go. Is it true? The rumors about, you know. The hog. <laughs> is it true or is it is it not? Because there's a lot of people at home wondering. <laughs> it's a tough situation I'm putting you in, I know. I think the picture you saw was a little... Embellished? You know how <laughs> it is. <laughs> but I'm still giving you credit. He's average? I... That is bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Was the He's picture hog. in wide angle? A hog. I had the angle perfect. It was Snapchat. It's you can't even wide angle that. I'll defend myself there. Given, Can you? Given the angle I took it at and everything, made it appear are, a little more well, bigger than... Well, then explain this. <laughs> <laughs> Evan's hog reveal. A little baby carrot. Uh, no, OnlyFans dropping 2025. Stay tuned. Would you? Yeah, I could see you having that. He begs me to all the time. Really? Really? So okay. I don't okay, think I shouldn't say beg. Beg you to, <laughs> but I've definitely had the conversation about it. Yeah. I Dude, feel like make a bag. It's it's a no it. brainer in my head. Mm-hmm. And it's you know, Dude, it's all a hustle. It's not like you just gotta like put out the most hardcore porn. It's just a fucking game. Mm-hmm. No self pictures. You just tease you know, of your feet. Nutscapes. <laughs> and Nikki turns it down then, or you don't want a Nikki, obviously, if you have I'd rather sell pictures of my feet. Right, Ooh. that well, Evan's well, feet ain't worth nothing. What if Ev did a solo? Yeah, yeah he's just solo. On. Would you be fine if I? I mean, I feel like it's probably more dudes would be on there buying content than women, anyways. What are you gonna do? Sit there and jerk off? And <laughs> 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 let me get my lotion real quick. <laughs> I'll fucking jerk off with cheese whiz if that's what the people want. <laughs> I'll bring invite waffles over. We'll get weird. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I didn't go to college, but um, I turned it down. Oh, yeah, I turned it down just to do this, just to grind from the rap. So you, you uh, had an opportunity to do the drug yeah, thing, a scholarship college. and everything. Where at? Um, I think it was like in Jacksonville. Hmm. Yeah, a big a big band in Jacksonville. It was a big college though, and they offered me like fifteen. Some shit like ten million or something like that, five million something like that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but not five million dollars. Pay for your five million dollars to play the drums. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, what the <laughs> 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 fuck are we doing here? I was so younger. Like, wait, wait, wait. I didn't wait. know what it was. Are you sure they offered you five million dollars? I play turned it down. I, I, told him, I was I was she like so younger, down. like like he squints. He's like, I was so younger, like I didn't know what was going on. I was so younger, dude. Dude, when he cracks a smile and kind of laughs, turns it down. Yeah. It down. He was like, I he love was like, shit, dude. I didn't think he was gonna question me on this. Yeah. I love the interviewers. Uh, the fuck, are we doing here, <laughs> dude? How hard do you have to shred in a marching band? To for get five yeah. million dollars. <laughs> How much money you gotta have in your bank account to not know if it was fifteen yeah. or five million dollars? <laughs> you should start by trying to fit into your t-shirt. 
but you're down to a medium because no, how much no, are you? He's, okay. not he did, to he's more down to a large, but you're looking great, Jake. <laughs> yeah, you you yeah. lost damn near what fifty pounds now? Yeah, two pounds away. And my goal is like my goal is one seven. So I was two twenty five. My goal is one seventy five. Just to say, I actually lost fifty. That's crazy. One seventy seven last Friday. Yeah. That's actually wow. insane. What are you doing to lose 50 pounds? Uh, I basically, so what I do is... Quit jerking off. Yes. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Knocks all the people that had my back last video. <laughs> uh, so me and Cody go to the gym every morning. I'll like run... T- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not considered... <laughs> it's not considered jerking off if you have... What uh, help. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks all the people that had my back last video. <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> the, the <laughs> I saw this video on Instagram today. It made me think of our boy Mike since, I mean, we haven't made fun of him in about 45 seconds. What's you the first it? thing that you think of when, like, he says something like this? What is? What are you envisioning yeah. when you're seeing? What are you, what are you yeah, What are you picturing in your brain? I don't know. Yeah, something to do with driving or like no. unreliability in general. <laughs> I saw it. You know, it could really be anything. Unreliability of- <laughs> in general. <laughs> in general. I love the self-awareness, yeah. Mike. My caption in the group chat to this was, Mike on a casual drive to Fargo. It's yellow, too. <laughs> I mean, he wrecked really bad. I thought you guys okay, but what happened? I, don't, I gave it a little gas. Still fortunate to be from Canada. That's for sure. I live in like the most beautiful place in the world. It's not tropical, but it's tits deep snow. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> not, it's all right. That should be rebel stoke. That should be rebel stoke slogan. Man, how sick is that? It's not tropical, amazing, but it's tits Where do you deep get snow? yesterday? I can go to oh, choose any rebel stoke. <laughs> I hate the Vikings. Justin Jefferson sucks. Kirk mm-hmm. Cousins can kiss my ass. And I hope Adam Thielen falls down the stairs. Let me tell you, it's been a tough time for me. It's been a trying time. Oh, really? really? Well, you start talking shit on vapors. You got half the population now that's going to disagree with you. They're not going to want to hear that shit. No. And then sure. the other half thinks it's it's awesome. They think it's funny. So now it's like I got one half just like, hell yeah, CJ, that was so funny. And then the other half like, I really think CJ needs to get off the podcast. He is just, <laughs> he's not that good on it anymore. Yada, yada. I'm like, Jesus. So, like, is there it's any, kind of funny. Is there anything you'd like to say to the vapors out there? Hey, man, I, I know it's tough to hear, but I'm just looking out for you. Ken? I'm just looking out for you, man. Oh, don't look, look at Evan. Don't look at me. Bro, Ken You can't hates. deflect onto someone that's not even here. Yeah. Ken He's hates. one of your robot dick brothers. Jesus, you gonna take your own dick out now? <laughs> Ken hates the Robo Dick story more than anything else. Mostly because it involves his two least favorite things: dicks and robots making fun of vaping. Yeah, yeah. Two things he's passionate. So I've I've recently inquired even more haters after that story went viral. So, uh, do you guys like clean up on on the girls being DJs? <laughs> We just do our job. <laughs> Dude, crashing never hurt anybody. It's what co- it's coming to a dead stop that hurts you. You got to roll, baby. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, okay. There, there might be crashing some. never hurt nobody. Please be careful. We probably won't, but hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to do a bit where I pop up YouTubers' cars. Mm-hmm. Now, we've all watched the videos of them being built or them doing anything with them on the internet and then ask you guys what you rate them 1 to 10. All right. Also, I want to say when I was going through and trying to narrow down just a couple of cars to do, bro, so many YouTubers have so many unique and cool cars these days, and it was really difficult. But all right, first one up, Stradman's Lamborghini Aventador Pirelli Edition with Liberty Walk wide body kit, Rosa Cantus paint, and white pinstriping. The paint job is one of three painted in this color in the world, and it's got a custom all white and pink interior. Uh, the story behind it was it was an in an accident with a police car before he bought it, and now it's a salvage title that he completely rebuilt. Oh, so pretty cool. But with his dad, I think too. Or he finished it on the day that his dad passed away, mm. so he kind of it's in memory of his dad. But all right, okay, Mike, one out of ten. Uh, nine point nine. CJ, <sighs> I'd have to say ten. Ryan? Really? See, I think you can put. A kit in that color, in that wing, 
on a heavy modified Lambo like that. So I think it all works together pretty well, but it seems to be a bit overstated for me. I'm going to play Devil's Avocado, 8.2. So it's pretty, pretty good. It, it's very loud, and I think it works for a YouTuber. It looks amazing. I guess the only bad part about Aventadors in general is the interior is very outdated, like the screen and all that. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I think. Why is that? Well, most Lambos are. I think most no, Lambos but don't. it's even worse. If, like, guess, and that's a more expensive Lamborghini. If that's I had to guess, it would just be. I, I remember when I saw a Bugatti interior, and someone explained that they try to keep it uh, timeless. Yeah. yeah, I would say they're playing in on that. Which no, is if kind you of, look at it, it's not. It just oh, okay. It, it, I don't know, but they just haven't changed it, I don't think. I but think, of all the things, my favorite part is the full custom interior. Like, yeah, that's what yeah. makes, that's what to me sets it apart. His white dash, I guess, is, like, problematic because this, it reflects onto the, the windshield. windshield it's so angled. It's so, and uh, I guess it's kind of hard to see. Everything about it is perfect, so loud. It looks like one of the fastest cars you'd ever see on the road. The only reason I took it the one tick off was because it, it's pink. I, I love that it's painted, but... I would do it like any other color besides pink, but it still looks beautiful. I mean, you're really never going to see a wide body Aventador like this, but you're really never going to see a pink wide body with white wheels, white interior, big ass wing. Very true. I think loud beautiful. exhaust, everything about it. One dude. of a kind. For it's sure. a, it's, it's such a YouTuber car. It's so over the top. It's ridiculous. Um, I, love I, it. I think he absolutely killed it on it. Mm -hmm. Here's like a side shot of it. That I think is really shows like the angles of it, mm. how sharp it is. I love that. It's such a beautiful the convertible, car. the spider. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. I think it's on static suspension. It's got a front lift on it, I believe. Mm. But a lot of these cars are on airbags. But people that have airbags or install shops that install a lot of uh, airbags or or static suspension on cars, they always say that airbags are kind of a pain in the butt, and they never are as good as you would want them to be doesn't work very well on my homer <laughs> <laughs> ryan knows firsthand such a beautiful car i'd give this a 9.5 nice i love that car I, I gotta stay with 10 shaking it up a little bit here whistle and diesel's 2022 amg g63 otherwise known as a g wagon this thing it's got bigger turbos on it pushing a thousand horsepower acropovic exhaust lift kit and 33 inch tires i'd give this one a 9.5 Dude, I hate to say it, but 10. I love it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. Because this is the coolest G-Wagon I've ever seen. Yeah. This is more of like a more of a stock car. You know, mm -hmm. obviously yeah. it's got the little cosmetic changes to it and it's faster. But overall, you're going to look at it and it, it mostly looks stock. I think it's beautiful. Right? Well, it's sweet because he modified it, but it still works. Like he's jumping it right there. Like you could have went and you could have modified it either lower or put such a big lift on it that it becomes unfunctional so where he nailed it was it's fast af and it sounds pretty solid but yet you can do stuff like that with it so i mean yeah i'd i'd give it like in the nines it really is a great looking car and i think the coolest part about it is that he really showed how capable it is mm -hmm. my only beef is the exhaust sounds kind of tinny which i know people are in eh on but i think it it just for a nine does. nine thousand mm -hmm. dollar exhaust exactly i would have expected to be a little better but it's loud and it's sweet I guess what I find most interesting is that after he uploaded this video, I like G-Wagons, but then a video of Whistling Diesel basically destroying this thing made me like them 10 more. times more. I went, what? I mean, obviously he tested it and showed what, what it can do, but I was like, I want one. That's a nice-ass car, and it's badass, too. And what too. it can do? Yeah, I mean, the suspension, pretty, I don't even mm -hmm. know. It's got to weigh a bunch. Whatever, Whoever built the suspension for that deserves an award. I, I feel like it's... Hard to have a luxury vehicle. That's a luxury, like bougie vehicle, but it's still badass in my yeah. opinion. And that's because of like maybe the the red, but also just the overall look of it. It's just a badass vehicle. I I like it a lot. Three hundred thousand dollar vehicle, that's yeah. and that's though. obviously with dealer markup. And I think he bought it in the worst possible time. But that is a lot of money for basically a glorified Jeep. But as he proved, it's a it's lot. Better it's than a Jeep. lot better than a Jeep. I just want to play the clip of him jumping it. For anyone that hasn't seen it. God, that was such a <laughs> ooh, 91 feet. Imagine if he would have rolled that thing, dude. No one there that day was expecting to see that. That much of a boot. Dude, I have been to those sand dunes, and I have tried to jump them. Well, I have jumped them in a side-by-side -side with side-by-side -side bog, and we probably went not, not even that far, and it was terrifying. So I can't imagine doing it in, like, an 8,000-pound car. I think His, the thing about that video that really makes it stand out is 99% of people who own G-Wagons will never take that thing off the pavement 
and he's just full sending it. Yeah, and it actually held up, which is cool. All right, the next car is TJ Hunt's 2020 C8 Corvette twin turbo, 1500 horsepower with a fully custom Street Hunter wide body kit, which is his own wide body kit. So it, the, the thing is like completely one of one, insanely fast. And personally, I think it looks amazing. This is my favorite wide body kit on any of the C8s. Uh, what do you guys think? One out of 10. 9.9 .9 for me. I hope you picked ug uglier YouTuber <laughs> cars because I feel like we're giving all these. I'm likes. giving this a seven, dude. Okay. Really? Seven, maybe a seven and a half. Reason why I'm saying that, I honestly don't think it looks that good with the wide body kit. The rear is too wide compared to the front. It looks too wide. It's not proportionate. And there's often times where I see a wide body kit get thrown on a vehicle and it's just like too much. Like Stratman's looked good. This is too wide in my personal opinion. And I don't really like the wing either. It just kind of looks, doesn't look right to me. I'd rather just have a, a factory one. The thing I do like about it is it isn't a, a bolt-on kit. You know, mm. it, it doesn't have the bolts holding it on. I don't know how it's fastened. It probably has bolts, but yeah, I like that from it's the, smooth. From the backside. Yeah, from but the you back. But don't, you don't see the rivets. Yeah, right? exactly. Because yeah. I think that's the one thing that can sometimes make body kits look cheesy is it looks like they are bolted onto the outside of a car, <clears> which they are. Agree with that. I agree. That it does look a little bit cheaper. Here, this one looks I, a little bit more factory. When I saw it at SEMA, I thought it looked... Uh, Kind of homemade, personally. Mm -hmm. Really, I, I got nothing I against TJ Hunt see in person. I'm yeah. just saying, I thought it seemed kind of homemade. Like it just, it, it looks wonky to me. I think one thing that it could maybe change. Let's say the rear fenders weren't as wide, and this was a Z06. I know that would change a lot, but the fenders are already wider on that. I think that would look tasteful. But I think it looks incredible. I the color is like amazing color, for me, yeah. but still would change it. The wheels though, the silver like three piece, whatever HRE wheels, unreal. I, That's my favorite part of the car. I love that silver wheels are coming, coming back. back. My like dream is a black, either matte black or just black car, and then get some really nice polished wheels, kind of like Mike has on a Subaru, the same color. Well, you already kind of got that with your Hummer, right? That's true. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But I mean, yeah, it just I think that's such a cool look that went away for a while that I think now should come back. I, think, I agree with that. I think that TJ ran into a lot of problems with the twin turbo kit on this because the ecu was so hard to unlock or, or do anything they ever, to, or was actually, it still maybe like they, a maybe they didn't even Yo. unlock it but it's so hard to do anything with the c8 platform you want to know what's even crazier though is uh amelia hartford she yeah. already twin turboed this, her her fucking z06, z06. No. yeah how how c8 does it work uh they, ha they don't have it tuned yet but she slapped them on oh. started it up revved it I was like mind blown. That Me that'll too. be a crazy car. A Z06 C8 twin, twin turbo. turbo. Unreal. Yes. Yeah. Look, it sounds like, like a Ferrari. Yeah. yeah. A twin turbo Ferrari. <laughs> but yeah. The only turnoff to this car is it's now for sale. And it is for sale for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> for a Corvette. That's not even a Z06. That's a lot of money. <laughs> no way. Yeah, a lot of money. Lot. No one's gonna buy that for two fifty. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody you know, who's maybe a big TJ fan and yeah, watched the whole build. Have you guys seen the uh, <laughs> the video of the guy proposing on the baseball? Yeah, what was field? he doing there? Ken, pop, oh, up, pop yeah. up this video I just sent you. What was he doing I mean, there? Was that? I could not believe that. Dude, I, I could not believe it either. Also, I don't know why you'd go down to do that. I know. Like, it not, been, you're not a player, bro. It would have been better if he was <laughs> yeah, like. That's not your field. Well, how did he think this was going to end? Here, play it. Dude, he gets rocked, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> bro! That that guy got okay. whiplash, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, and then they bounce like when they land what on the ground. Shitty way to start off a marriage, man. Yeah, like literally getting arrested. That's all on him too. Like they don't even get to enjoy this moment because yeah. now he's just like he's got CTE. Everything's been spoiled. <laughs> he doesn't dude. even remember that he did it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's gonna be locked in a in a jail cell yeah go back and, and play the hit again bro that guy Dude, hit that sticked guy, him that okay. full yeah on madden <laughs> 2023 hit stick the title the dodger oh fan. that was head to head that's like no, that, was that, was that, was that was a shoulder. legal hit. That was shoulder to head. <laughs> that was an illegal hit. Oh, dude, oh, yeah. I don't know. Dude, he clunked his ass. Dude. You can tell that that. Oh, dude, that. Ooh. Dude, he crunched it, his ass. He seems just like a little bit too power hungry. Like I agree, he gets yeah, a little why did bit he come of in so hot? He seems he like, pretty oh, chill. Yeah, out. this guy wasn't doing anything. You know what I love about you, Steve? Is is everyone always dreams of getting to where you're at, right? Where you get the money and you can buy all these cars. Sure. 
but you drive them and you oh, treat yeah. them exactly how everyone would always dream that. Sure. And that's yes. like my favorite part is that you're like, you're actually mobbing these things down the street like, yes. like a 18 year old kid would. I, I've gotten, as I've gotten older, I've gotten a lot smart. Like I'm not, I'm not speeding i'm speeding in the right areas like <laughs> yes, that's what my buddy cj said. says <laughs> yeah, that's what cj said we, and he yeah. only gets one ticket every three weeks <laughs> oh well i was gonna say i used to get a ticket two to three tickets a year um i have i've had well over 35 40 tickets i've had none Ooh. in the last three years and it's because you just kind of like you're like there's a right place and a wrong place to speed like i don't want to speed where there's a lot of intersections crossroads homes but like there's plenty of stretches that that don't have any of that and and they're they're very unlikely to probably be patrolled so like those are the ones that i'm going 100 120 150 plus on there's allegedly stretch, yeah <laughs> allegedly in mexico and then there's certain uh, highways that that have like long stretches like you know that it's not possible to patrol yeah and so that's where i really try to get my aggression out um, <laughs> Dude, i saw the video of you doing 200 in your poo yeah yeah <laughs> yeah insane. 211 miles an hour um I can't disclose where, but yes. What Mexico. does that feel like? Uh, scary. Well, not scary. Like the the problem was I hit it, and then there was a curve way up ahead, right? And then so I start braking, but you're like, you can't hard brake at that speed. Yeah. So like the curve got taken at like 130, 140. So it's kind of but you kind of forget. Kind of, you just don't realize how quickly it comes up. That's what she said. And uh, <laughs> it's like it's so far ahead it's where like I, where I braked cautiously, but like I'm like, oh my gosh, like I needed to break even earlier. And then and that was one that I, I texted the crew. That was when I went to eleven and, and I'm going around the curve and I and, and there was the center was right behind me. And that's when I'm like, All right guys, like we need to chill a little bit more than that on the highway. Like and I was leading the crew, and you're so leading. it was my fault. <laughs> Everyone's like, What but the I'm fuck like, is that supposed to I'm mean? Like, Aren't you leading? We need to chill a little bit more than that. Like it's it's just not worth it. Um, maybe we'll just go at 130, 140, but, but I don't know about this 211 shit. But it is tough because you got a Bugatti. It's almost like you have to. You guys follow uh, like what's going on with the football draft at all or anything? Negative. Little Ghost bit. Rider. I saw there was some guy. He's like a real stud. He's got a bunch of chicks around him. Oh, oh yeah. He was supposed to go first round and didn't. Oh, yeah. He was supposed to go like early first round and just straight up did not get Looking like picked. a young Hugh Hefner over there. Except one of those guys, it must have been his mom. But I, I, I'm assuming they're mostly his sisters, but just looks weird. Was he kissing like, any of them? All uh, of them on the list. Kind of. Was he? No, I'm just kidding. He wasn't. Uh, but yeah, three hot sisters plus his girlfriend. But then there was a whole scandal. Oh no! <laughs> he had his hot sisters. Yeah, sitting why would there you with do them? that? Dude? Do I, they sit on the couch that? and it's like him, girlfriend, three good-looking sisters. Wow. So Barstool, of course, did a whole write-up and all that. But the dad. When he, they like were hugging or something like that. Maybe this was a different guy because that guy got drafted. Kissed him on the lips. No. Oh. The dad goes to hug the girlfriend, hugs the girlfriend, and then gives her two pats on the butt. Wait, oh, I, on, what the on national, television? I heard something about this. That was like two years that was ago. An accident. Oh, that was two years I, ago. I don't know, but I, I remember seeing like a clip of a dad being at the, I think they were at a game, but yeah, no, this the is, dad this was, was like, this was last night. night. Yeah, yeah, right. But I've just heard Dude, that happening before. That's Dude, tough. Do you got to have like a father or son conversation or son father conversation? Like, listen, dad, next time I'm on ESPN, you can't be slapping yeah, me. It's not going to happen again after that uproar. <laughs> That's it's almost one of those things that you're just like seriously, just at least don't do it on live. You, guys, like, ever, come on. <laughs> Look, you guys ever Dad, if you're gonna slap my girlfriend's ass, just don't do it on live TV. <laughs> I'm not sure what sport it was, but the guy scores a touchdown and then it like goes up to the people in the box and is like everyone's hugging, high fiving, and like the dad like kind of like moved his hand over and like grazed I the girl's ass. It was like mm -hmm. completely I out of the way. That. And it was all caught on camera. I was like, yeah, God damn, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I thought yeah, that's, that's, that's what talk. we were talking about, Ryan. But Ready? Oh! <laughs> like, you threw that in there, dude. <laughs> this little that was just so that was unnecessary. An accident. That was an accident, for sure. I... She had a dumper too. Which yeah, really it was. In, it, it was it like wasn't. half an accident, but it was too firm. Yeah, no, it's the double so unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he was just thinking he was out on the field because his son just got drafted, and when you're playing football, you slap each other on the ass, you <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah. So maybe he like had some flashbacks to his old days. In the right of it goes, that is no accident whatsoever. Not once, but twice. <laughs> <laughs> and the one would been weird. I feel like the two is like the. Good job. It was just the fact that he like he didn't come from Weird, up top, like tried to get a little waste. He came from down under. Yeah, he did yeah. kind of go underneath it. <laughs> There's no way that shit wasn't an accident, but yeah, it is weird. That's a very unfortunate event. 
So because that's going to overshadow him getting drafted. It's like, come on, so Dad. That, that's <laughs> what the whole article's about. Now, now yeah, is, yeah. everyone forgot. It. Now I'm known as the dude. I'm I'm the new guy. Now everyone knows me as the dude with the dad who slaps my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> dude, I think. <laughs> what about the Jets player, the quarterback? What's Zach Wilson? Zach Wilson. Yeah. Last year there was a whole scandal because his girl, like, well, I mean, he was hooking up with his mom's best friend. Strange stuff, man. It, all that just comes to light. It's unfortunate that it's <laughs> I think come that to got light him at, a like, lot. The biggest moment, though. Yeah, but I th- I think within like his team definitely gave him some respect, probably for sure. Yeah, I mean they were probably damn. I don't know if how well that worked out That's for him it. though. Evan's like, what's wrong with being a rat? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Evan moves to New York. <laughs> <laughs> Evan this Evan shares Evan <laughs> Evan shares a few video ideas with people he maybe shouldn't have uh, that didn't ruin a whole lot, and now he's forever known as a knock. We should pull up a clip of Cartnarks. That shit's funny. Yeah. We're oh, gonna, look at you, Ken. Jiminy See, Christmas. it's. I think it's kind of funny being a narc if it's, like, lighthearted like this. Like, there's really no consequence. Well, that's kind of why you, I use this as an example because it truly is, like, one of those things. Unless you're physically incapable and handicapped, just put your cart back. <laughs> we skip wheedle deep through page of Cameron here with the cart narcs. That's not where the carts go. That doesn't, that's not where the carts go. No. But there are people, they pay people. To okay, man. Wow. Let me explain. We hear this all the time. Oh, listen, buddy. Listen, I get what you're saying. Thank you. I get what you're saying, but. But. There's no, I don't know. You, they, <gasps> you don't they, care? No. They this pay seems people. fake. Well, now, ma'am. Uh-uh. Money, when you go to the. Go up and them, sure. Listen, but, I get a kid that I got to get back to. Oh, is there a kid starving fake? to death or something? Kind of. Well, but, uh. This doesn't seem they fake also pay, at all. Do you pee on the seat when you use a public restroom? Because they pay people to clean it. That shit up. That's, That's the same idea. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> then he puts uh, the magnets in. my life. That's why. And don't listen to music while you're in your car. That's not safe, and it's against. Dude, uh, what kind of car was that? Uh, was it not <laughs> supposed to be. What, what do we got here? Oh, oh she's stuck in traffic now. Yeah, he puts these magnets on their car. They back your car here for you. Madam. Knock right now. Now, I, mean it. I will if you take your card back. Would you like to do that for me? Knock it off. Knock what off? Knock Being a responsible person? Touch my stuff. That's okay. It's for you. See, he's got our phone number on it. You Don't can call. bother me right now. I mean it. But you're bothering people by blocking the spot. Do you understand the correlation, man? You're starting this shit. Back the fuck off. <laughs> you started this shit, <laughs> man. All I did was That's ask you. That's what they pay people for. But, ma'am, what's your... Leave me the fuck alone. Wait. I mean it. Okay. Leave me. I got more. Get the fuck away from yeah, me. This guy is you're awesome. Right now. You're starting. And people Man, just, he he's got to be in Florida. 10 out of 10, he's got to be in Florida. Florida. It's in Naples, Florida. Oh, yeah. I'm going to yell like a big old sour puss. Me. Did you see her, what she did with her cart? <laughs> see now, you're overreacting. You're falling for her tricks. <laughs> I'll give you one right there. What are you talking about? That's what I'm talking about. It's the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> he just got him slapped. <laughs> Holy crap, she is Why doesn't she just Why drive away? Why are you not ad- That's my favorite part. So many people are like, I'm in a hurry. I got to go. And they're like, okay, just put your cart back. But not coming near you. Do not come near my Two minutes arguing. Oh, my God. This lady's amazing. going you intense. I've... They fucking pay people. I told you the analogy. Do you throw trash on the ground because they pay people to pick that up too? No, they don't pay people to pick it up. Then what are garbage men for? Shut the fuck up. Dude. Man, he had to have just just unlocked something just hidden in In this lady. Yeah. But I think that's what I mean. Like, he he unlocks that out of a lot of people. This guy must have been like a former cart boy that had to go out and get him. Yeah. 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 You know, you know what I love most about this guy is that he's acting very Karenish by yeah. going up and basically telling people, you know, but put then, your card away. And then he brings the Karen out of not people. Being a so Karen. then it's like two Karens it's going like, at, I, I, at each other. And then pretty soon he looks pretty normal. He's yeah, like, he's what he said wasn't screaming. even out of line. The way that he came up kind of reminds me of that, that police officer that isn't a police officer that oh, gets yeah. like yeah. super heated. Yeah, but it's not his job, you mm-hmm. know. So he's kind of got like the same like it's not my job, but I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna go do it anyway. Do we it should anyway. do this for a bit. The nice that'd thing be, is that'd this be a guy's hilarious a, bit, dude. He, he's got a playful attitude with it, which is kind of what helps. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound like well, he's gonna be very playful. I like I like what Ben said. Him telling them to put their car back is a Karen move, but he's not a Karen. Mm-hmm. He he just very civil about it and just like pushes back lightly. But he's Guys, not a we Karen. Gotta do this. This, this would be a great out. bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, this would be good. When uh, you put a magnet on someone's so, car, can you get in trouble though? 
I feel uh, like probably. I'd be fucking pissed. Well, just, we know Ken would yeah. be pissed if someone put him oh. on. Car. <laughs> but if I, if someone did that on like my GTR, I'd be like, don't fucking touch my car. Yeah. I wonder if cart narcs was a thing before he was recording it. Let's go to the like, high, I climate. I wonder if he used to just do it without making a video of it just for the love of the okay. game. Oh, yeah. And then, and then, he, then he was filming. like, man, I should, I should make content out of this. Or if he was like, hmm, this would be pretty funny and then started doing it. You mm. know, like what came first, the chicken or the egg here? <laughs> the cart or the narc? You know what's amazing? <laughs> <laughs> we got to order some of these. So these, these Ken magnets. just skipped forward six minutes into the video and this guy's oh, just guy's getting mad. heat. Like he's... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to de-escalate. Uh, no, you're making the situation. No, you, you escalate, so you're like just not turning yeah. around. Well, who? I'll, 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 I'll yeah, happy yeah, to leave. Yeah, I don't want to make your, I don't want to make your job any harder. We'll just go ahead and walk away. I will. That'd be great. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, this shit is dinged up too. You sure you don't want this? I'm leaving. Okay, he is more of an asshole than I remember. Dude, why why is this the most Cali guy ever? Ever. Like, Look at his post. Cali lives in California. It does do him kind of dirty though, because it's like you catch someone at the wrong time, having a bad day, and then one million people watch they you look freak bad. out. Yeah, exactly. You know, it is it is kind of that like we talked about it on a couple podcasts back. You just you're like pushing someone's buttons to hopefully get them to freak out at you. To and then they finally do something that you want. Yeah. You know, Ev, I uh there's a lot of good qualities that you have, mm. but I wouldn't say that uh, your money spending is is one of your <sighs> terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible. Yeah, no, it's I terrible. know. I probably should get a financial advisor, but it's kind of like going to the doctor. Like I'm a little hurt. I don't want to go in and hear bad news. They're only going to tell you things you're not going to like to hear. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I'm not not trying to hear it. You, you'd have to have like a full lifestyle change, I think. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but I, I think if they were to inform you that you need a lifestyle change, like you'd be like, oh, you're no longer my financial advisor. <laughs> yeah, I'd <laughs> never be find it. a different one that tells them to spend money. Yeah, where's the where's the advisor that tells me to head to Vegas once a month? Ken, we do have a little history of throwing you the most legendary birthday parties ever. Like when I look back at people's birthdays, I think Ken's are the most notable because yeah. I don't think I've thrown you a birthday party when you turn 21, 22, and 23, I don't know about 24, but those three years, the cops came to your birthday party yeah. every time. Ken has bangers. They they were like the peak birthday years. Those mm-hmm. were the best. I feel like people, without even your consent or uh, <laughs> asking, they just set you up for this extreme birthday party. And then the closer I get to 30, it's just been a slow decline. And 27, that was a low point. With the cake smashed by that, Ben? That was. Yeah, that was bad. A candle to the eye. And this year, not drinking. I, that it's was just for you. Can. That was a, so is that part of the reason why you're not drinking? You're like, I don't want to be drunk on my birthday and have my guard down in case Ben comes out with a, another cake again. No, so it's kind of like a few other people, they did dry January, and I was like, ah, I'm, I'm starting it late, but whatever. I'll just go into February, so then I get the full, like, 30 days, one month thing. And it's been nice. It just you, happens to be overlaps my birthday. You seem like you've been in a better mood, and also, I like, visibly, you look healthier, too, I will yeah, say. I'm very, very yeah. proud of you. My, very proud of my you. My Apple Watch notified me this week that my resting heart rate has been lower for the last 30 oh, I'm days. Sure. I'm sure. Feel good. It says, okay, this is a sticky one. Oh, we can't, we can't uh, mention any names here because we've got to stay anonymous. But um, what would happen or how can I solve this issue if I potentially fucked my best friend's ex-girlfriend and... I haven't told him about it. Yo, we're gonna let that Mike goes handle back. this yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, punch him in the face. Next one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he he he's, he's, he's gonna he, get punched. To be honest, every situation is, is different. That's a different you know? situation. We don't know what his friends like. If he's a hothead, or if he's a chiller, or what. yeah, and like what their relationship was yeah, like. Yeah. Like how long have they been broken yeah. up for? Is a big thing. Like has has he moved on from her? I um, mean, definitely. Hate to say it, man, but not that not a bro move. <laughs> but uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being sorry about it and and coming clean for sure. You know, 
I, it's going to be a lot better coming from you because that, otherwise she's going to hold yeah, that over. Yeah, that's true. It, somebody like, else figures out from somebody it'll else. It'll probably that's, come out, yeah, unless you're lucky. So then, I mean, if you if you don't say anything and then it comes out, definitely much yeah. worse than just coming clean. But if it's like a lot of time has passed. Mm-hmm. Man, that is a sticky Man, if one, he's though. got an inkling that you did it and you did and uh, he's going to like, it'll just never be the same. So you'd be better off just coming clean. Godspeed. Brother. Yep. <laughs> What's the worst injury you've had? Uh broken femur at man, what was I? Twelve years old was pretty gnarly. Uh but when I broke my ankle and my tailbone in 2017 and then was hospitalized for two weeks because I lost sixty percent of my blood. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. I got it. So, I got yeah, what happened? I, yeah, I got dispatched from one small town hospital, uh, diagnosed with a broken tailbone and a broken ankle. And like they didn't even give me crutches or anything they just like straight off the hospital bed into the back seat of the truck and nikki and hudson was like newborn like not very old at all she drives me up over this mountain pass and we're trying to get home and i'm just like laying in the laying in the back seat of the truck just excruciating pain hudson's crying she's i said newborn but i think she, maybe she's like a year uh and she's just like she's crying just just doing baby stuff mm-hmm. I'm freaking out because my stomach hurts so bad and I haven't like pissed in 22 hours or something. And my stomach starts getting super, super hard. And I'm just like, I'm just begging Nikki, like just drive faster. Like we need to get to the next town. Anyway, this is a two hour drive between towns. Yep. And it got so bad that I told her like, we need more help than this, you know? Like, so she calls my physical trainer and she's like, what do I do? And he got us like the hotline to the front desk at ER at the hospital in Kamloops. Call the front desk. They dispatch an ambulance to meet us at the front of the hospital because that's the quickest way to get yourself in. Yep. So mm. they rip me out of the back seat of the truck, put me onto the the gurney, in through ER, right to the trauma unit, and you know I get diagnosed and they they're doing all these scans. And I was like, I'm gonna say a hundred mils away from like my bladder bursting and just going full septic. And so then they started running blood tests and I was like 60% low on red blood cells. I was Dude. internally bleeding inside oh so bad gosh. that I was just like, my stomach was just filling up with fluid and I was just like pretty much just driving around wow. dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, <laughs> and uh, so that was there? in 2017. I was hitting a freestyle ramp at Kyle DeMello's house and was just doing a whip. And I whipped really hard and my hand for whatever reason came off of the bars and I grabbed back on and I tried to straighten the bike out. And just wasn't coming back straight. So I bailed and just went 90 feet to my feet and just oh. crumpled and landed on the bike, drove the foot peg through my ass and uh, broke my tailbone, broke my right ankle. And uh, yeah, I guess that was, I'm going to say that's the gnarliest one. Dude, that, <laughs> wow. gnarly. that is insane. After that, weren't you like, oh. man, kind of fucked dirt bikes? A little bit. But then I was like, I fucking love dirt bikes. <laughs> Three months later, I was back riding ramps again. Six months later, I went double golds at Winter X. So it was like. So you didn't let it slow you down too much? Yeah, nah. No, but it's slowed me down now. That ankle is pooched. Like, oh, really? Yeah. That seems to kind of be the uh, general saying for most athletes that are performing at a, at a high level. Injuries rarely slow them down. Especially yeah, until you like, get 35 like me, and then you're like, yeah, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, there's that 2017 ankle injury. Yeah. Yeah, but or not- the tailbone, like any more than two hours on the airplane. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this sucks. I need to stand up. Yeah, not very often. I'm no. going to be that guy that packs around an inflatable donut. Oh, you know? sit on? Yeah, to sit on. Just like if I'm flying to Japan or Australia or something, that's me. That's my steez, dude. Really? Yeah, I'd probably have like that's... rubber ducks or something on it. Something rad. <laughs> <laughs> look at the, look the, at the shirt, operator. The shirt, look at the operator. <laughs> the one more time shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... Dude, this guy went straight for the spin. <laughs> Proper. <Look> at... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow, dude. I, I don't think that was the one where I hurt myself because there's. Four different videos on that. <laughs> How many times did you get bucked off that bowl and hop back? Yeah, it was three. You know how it is. When you get knocked down, you got to get back yeah. up. He's never, get back he's on never been a quitter. This guy's middle name is Perseverance. Ken Perseverance Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if he's not careful, we're going to replace his last name with something else, too. 
Oh, whoa. Not, not oh. That one either. No, he's I, good. You're good. How did you're I good. not know yeah, that wait, you wrote it multiple <laughs> times? I didn't know that you wrote you, it multiple you times. Pay, you, you pay 30 bucks. It's like 10 bucks a time. <laughs> wait, well, I what? there's like a time limit. Kids all fucked up. They're like, <laughs> so, get back on. You still got 10 well, minutes. What was going through your head when you handed him 30 <laughs> instead of 10? I don't, I don't remember how much it cost. I just know it was like no, you get to ride like three times. No, Ken, it, it was that one when you fucked up your knee. My favorite part is this guy in the back, though. The guy far left. Let's go. Look yes. at this guy. Look at him <laughs> dance. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was it. Oh, there it is. Pop that knee, babe. Yeah. Pop that knee. Do you feel like you almost become like a, a slave to the lifestyle that you create? And I have friends that are more successful that are. And then you go and you see them, and you're like, hey, dude, like, like off camera, like not even on and off camera and not even YouTubers alone, but just like professionals in very high other elements of any type of world. And you're like, hey, dude, what's up? And they're just like, hey, dude, what's up? I'm like, dude, like it's, it's been so long how we're in. And it's like, yeah, man. Yeah. You just tell there's a lot weighing And on. you're like, yeah. dude, the fucking soul is gone out of them. And there's some that have friends with some that have like realized that, fix it, come back. And they're like, dude, like it's too thin. Like I, I like, I'm not. Like, the body's there, but, like, the inside that wanted it, it's, like, fucking just gutted. And it's, mm -hmm. like, that eight-year-old perspective ripped. Ripped out of them. Like, how much of a slave to the game do you need to take to have that? Because it's just a fact. Unless you have a billion dollars that was given to you, and you don't... There, you can't have you can't have both. No, yeah. you can't. Got to work. No, nope. you, you have. There is a like if we want to call it a slave to the job. Like there is that to a certain degree. And again, everyone loves what they do. I don't think you yeah. get that to that success level if you don't truly love it. And you're like, well, this is what I want to do anyway. But when it's all you're doing, like 130 hours a week, whatever, how many hours are on a week, and you never stop, and you never like take that for yourself or the family or find the other things that recharge you. Yeah, it's like. You like what's the point? Yeah. Right. Sometimes it takes someone else driving your car, your bike, your whatever to be like, oh, I do love that. That is cool. I yeah. forgot I made it that cool. Yeah, kind of feel that way too when some other guy starts test driving your chick. You know, start wondering. <laughs> yeah. Go, oh man, I really shouldn't have given that up. You got the jaw drop from Ken on that. One. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had that problem, but okay. good. Well, geez, Ken was alone. Yeah. Was, that is a good thing to have. You said it like you you have had that problem. Right? Well, eventually one. I mean, at some point I did in my life. Yeah. Um, Who hasn't though? Ben. Ben hasn't. Uh, yeah. No, I have. Oh, never mind. I, I have. That's how me and my ex girlfriend broke up. Oh, someone else was test driving her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even. He wasn't even selling the car. They were just getting test drives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh dude. no. Yeah. Do you guys look at Americans like? Man, those guys are idiots. Mm. Like, do, <laughs> like, do Canadians? Like, you gotta think about it. <laughs> Everyone shops online. Some people do it from their phone, some from their computers. Obviously, you guys know this. What everybody doesn't know, though, is Shopify is hands down the best way to sell online. It's almost insulting when you go to shop and support a business, a brand, or a creator, whoever, and their website is hard to shop on. Don't be that brand and use Shopify for an easy way to create, design, and shop on a website that anyone can set up for mobile or computer. We've been using Shopify for years now, and I love the Shopify Girls With Us. It makes it easy for anyone to shop, no matter the country, the currency, or even the language. We built our whole website with no coding required. It doesn't get much better than Shopify, guys. Shopify is so good, it's basically magic. They have endless options of integrations, award-winning help, and trust me, the first time you hear the Shopify cha-ching thing... You'll be hooked. Quit messing around and use Shopify. Use our code to support us and get a $1 per month trial period. Guys, sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash wide open. In, in the limelight, in the camera, you need to be polarizing. You got to be like one yeah, or the other. You got to be one or the other. Otherwise, you're nothing. You're I think I made a mistake. Mm. <laughs> so 
<laughs> I don't think it was worth it for me to get my nipple pierced. Oh, I was yeah. going to I was, I was going to say I was going to say is this and, about and the I, nipple yeah, piercing? Yeah, and like and and I'll hear it from you guys but like I already know I know the whole story like I know I know that I didn't react good enough. The whole like everything about me getting my nipple pierced was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like it didn't to even be, make and it didn't make fair, it in the year end recap it which i get yeah i get that but it didn't make it in that and then also like i didn't do it during the summer so no one like saw it in person yeah. uh the reason that i got it was parking in front of the door like <laughs> total which, which, total yeah. which barely lame. we had to like cut it up to make it even yeah. at all interesting and so i remember even <laughs> we at the like, time damn. being like it, should i just you know lay down and be like i'm not doing it i'll do it for a better reason but you I, could have probably said that but also at the same time work. we were staying so true to right. like this rule so that's that what we had anyway. i was like kind of like i think it's dumb i'll still do it and then i was like i'm gonna be a badass and not make a noise and then it was just like he <laughs> pokes a needle through my nipple and then everyone's like, ha, ah, you got it. And there like, was yeah. something cool about like how you were so tough about it, but it definitely that was the only cool the, thing like, I the, have to the say. The only about it. positive about you being so like tough and not even flinching about it was that it was different than everyone else absolutely screaming mm-hmm. their lungs out. Yeah, it was like a good cons- comparison. Right. It. But no, but it was, then but at it, the end of the day, like when we were making the year end recap, we had all these different ones. There was what, six of them? Yeah. And, uh, well, five. But. five There's five of them. Ryan didn't have his. Um, and we were like, man, I feel like this is just like kind of getting repetitive. And, and if there was anyone to cut there's out, there's mics. And I, I'll just, just take pride it. in that then. I'll take pride in that. <laughs> and I remember just being like, damn, that bro. Sucks. He's going to watch this and be like, well, I can, wow. hour and 45 I minute long video. And I, I couldn't I think... get three seconds for his nipple getting pierced. <laughs> All right. Even All right. though that unfortunately had to be redacted. Is there anything else that happened that night that you com- feel comfortable talking about? Oh, yeah. Like getting punched in the face. All right, do you want to start this little segment here? <laughs> What's going on with you two? Yeah, should we separate you or is no, it? No, we're good. We're good. Ken, you want to switch spots with Mike just to Mike, make sure there's no more physical space. altercation? Hold well, the bag. Jake's gonna need the safe place. He's the one getting assaulted. Well, I don't know if I don't know if Jake is in the right here. Okay, no, well. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't am, know if Jake deserves to be protected I here. I got one. On, like I, I have one coming back. Come on. Just Did I say get what to happened? The story. Get yeah, to the story. Get to the story. Well, Jake hooked up with Micah's ex girlfriend. <laughs> Jake then told Micah, and then Micah punched him in the face. That is the sh- very short version. <laughs> the very short version of it. That's actually that's rightfully no, so. That's how Jake tells the story on when he tells people when he on calls. Paper. It, calls it, yeah. Uh, but no, it was, uh, this is all, um, premeditated with the both of us. He, he was, oh, you, you planned on having to do that, huh? Oh, no, I didn't okay. oh, anything. Like, you told him to. You planned on it? No, no. I didn't plan on it. Hold on, Hold no. Up. no. Back he, up. He was very nervous to tell me that information. Well, right, very really nervous. so, yeah. yeah. I think so. But then you even, you told me, he called you, and you're like, do you think he's going to care? And you're like, I don't know. I don't Maybe. Well, well, so Jake, after it happened, Jake called me. and was like, dude, i got to get this off my chest. <laughs> I, hooked, I hooked up with Mike's girlfriend last night, ex-girlfriend. ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, do you think he's going to be mad? And I laugh, and I go, man, dude. You got no boundaries, do you? <laughs> well, dude, I was talking to Mike. I'm like, we're four-time champions now. I want to get you a trophy, bro. You got three on his belt on me. Dude? Yeah. 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 And and I go, to answer your question though, no, he won't be mad, dude. Mike never gets mad and and I think it's water under the fridge. He's not gonna be mad. And then you called me a couple days later and go, oh. Bro, dude, I told Mike and he punched me in the face. Yeah. And I was like, No way. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. When I told him, I was just stunned at what happened. We were just like looking at each other. Boom! No, just that's not. The, I mean, he was, that's not what happened. You have every right to be mad, Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm with then you. Jake gets punched. I'd be like, mad too. The For the sake of the story, I wish that would have been. There would have been no words exchanged. I just punched. But then later on, you're like, you're seriously not mad. And we were hanging. We were drinking. We were like, just, just like hanging out all night. And then it'd be like, dude, we'll like, do, do you like not want to like punch me right now? Like, are you not mad? And then I'll be like, I mean, I'd punch you, but like not because of that. But it would be fun. And you're like, all right, how about, you know, just one of those, like, moments where he's like, how about you punch me in the face, we'll call it even. Uh And then I'm like, let's do it. (laughs) I've never punched anybody in the face before. 
Let's try it out. Feel good? So then you're like, well, don't make it like a light punch either. You know, punch me. Like, so do it like right, yeah. Easily the hardest I've ever punched anyone also. The only time I have, as far as I remember. But can make connection to those big-ass cheekbones you got there. Yeah, right on the cheek? Yeah, yeah. R- right there. Like, oh, right yeah. You Dude. went for kind of the knockout well, almost. The, the next morning I woke up yeah, and I go, like, why is my... Like, why is my jaw hurt? I'm yeah, like, it's dude, right. it's so out of, sore and like out of place. Yeah, oh yeah. And granted, like we were very larried at the time, so I was like trying to just reconnect the dots. And I go, oh yeah, Mike punched me in the face last night. And then Jake's pissed. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna punch him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah you go and beat his ass, ass now. Yeah, he all just forgot about day. everything. <laughs> yeah. Say so now that you're even, like I don't know if we're even. Does that open the door again? I'd say yeah. you're even. You think, Honestly, yeah. like yeah. as that was some. Water under the bridge, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, squash the beef once again. Four time champions, huh? Yeah, we got that dogs. In Dude, those. how many like rings do Jordan and Pippen have? Like you guys are freaking. <laughs> Who, who's that's that? what they're gonna talk about in the, the <laughs> like local bar scene. Championship <laughs> duos. It's like Tom Brady and Gronk and Mike and Jake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> well, I mean, at least there's not that. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. No line to, no, to begin I, with. We really don't have a line here. <laughs> That's why it's like after he told me if our friendship is like here, it went down to here and then back up to there. Yeah. Ramped. It's That's unfazed. Good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Sign of true friendship. Glad, right and Ben, you know me well. I don't get mad. <laughs> just, I was, that's why I was so I surprised when Jake was yeah. like, dude, he punched me in the face. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. what? I, literally, I don't think Mike would ever get physical. Like no matter no. how mad you are. I just, no, yeah. you're right. You're right about that too. Like I, I don't think I would ever get physical. Physically, like, you just like be like, you're an idiot and just walk away. Oh yeah, or I might have the meanest words ever that I yeah. can conjure up. But that's like about it. Might and then be we worse. only have yeah, it might be worse. <laughs> might be worse. <laughs> might go back to his bullying. I just started <laughs> just bullying the shit out of Jake. <laughs> Today we're going to be taking an IQ test to figure out which one of us has the highest IQ. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love this. I love this. It, it's tough to like rank one through five, but who do you think is going to be the smartest and who do you think is going to be the worst? I think CJ is going to think that he's going to be the <laughs> smartest. I don't think that at all right now. But I think Ryan's going to be the smartest. Let's go. And I think Mike's going to be the worst. Uh, or so, me. Or so me. Keep in could mind, be me. I think off. Ken's going to be the smartest. That's what I was thinking I too. too. Yeah, I, I, I got faith in Ken. Boy. When it comes to standardized testing, yeah, yeah. I think Ken will be the best. Hmm. You know, and I, then I think Ryan. I think Ken is almost too smart for his own good. It almost kind of sets him back a little bit. <laughs> Can't though, apply you know? it. Oh, God. All right, dude. Let's let's do it. Gosh, I have that's such a terrible feeling about this. Dude, this is literally hurting my brain. (laughs) Dude, I I want to throw up right now. (laughs) Do it. It'll make you feel better. Okay. I, had to, I might have just fucked up. I well, I had to guess on the last three. I got my results. <laughs> I don't know if it's yeah. I mean, alrighty. Uh, let's. I probably got the worst. Hey, how should we reveal? How do we know. do it? I'm yeah. not very. I'm Maybe not to reveal. Can we? Can we cut this bit? <laughs> Ryan wants. To, can you imagine the like, Ryan? Oh, you're you're gar- joking, right? I guarantee I did worse. All right, I'll go first. All right, all right. Which I'm probably the worst. I got 102. Okay. O- okay. I got 102. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, hey, I'm trying not to react right now. Okay. Cause I know, because I don't want to give mine away, but. Your reaction 97? I got a 97. Okay. It was a high-stress environment. <laughs> I guessed on a bunch, which probably penalized yeah. mine. I would have been better off. I probably have like a 110. What'd you I, get, Mike? I got a 110. Whoa! No, no way! Yeah, Whoa. Mike. Whoa. way. Show me it. Let me see that. There ain't no Hold way. Hold on. Let me see it. Ken, what'd you get? Well, let me see it. I got 100. I'm pulling it up. Ken, I got... What? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, no fucking way. way. Hey, I got a 102. 
Wait, you what? guys got the worst no, score? You got no, Ryan got the worst score. No, no way. way! You're the only two with an actual college degree. Bro. Mike got a 110? <laughs> you guys are so lucky that I don't talk shit. Wow. Because, wow. you know, like... I I just I'm not a rub it in your face type of fella, dude. Mike got a one ten. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> Ryan got a ninety seven. My parents <laughs> paid for private school, dude. They gotta be fucking kicking themselves right now. No, I how did I do so bad? I'm honestly shocked. I am I am, I am shocked, shocked by these results. <laughs> I had this whole thing planned to be like. Yeah, well, just because your IQ is lower doesn't mean you don't have creative smarts and stuff like that. Yeah, he was trying to make completely <laughs> blew it out of the water. Okay, so this is just at a first Google search. I go, what is an average IQ? In general, an IQ is defined with a median okay of a hundred scores above Below one average. Scores above one thirty are labeled as above average or very superior, while scores under seventy. Okay. Be considered below average or labeled as borderline impaired. <laughs> Most people have an average IQ between 85 and 115. So, like, so you, you we're know, all you gotta, average. Yeah, My, mine yeah. said uh, I'm in the 55 percentile. So, I'm just, Same, I'm, I'm, obviously. I'm too smarter than average, which you know, I'm s- stoked about. I guess I'm we're used above to just average. being slightly below average. Dude, <laughs> I'm just painfully <laughs> average. Ken, what the frick, man? I I don't think we could have had literally the vice versa <laughs> flipped around. What was yours again, Ken? A hundred. You had a hundred? Yeah. Right on the nuts. That, that is exactly average, 50th percentile. Dude, I literally said Ryan's the smartest and Mike's the the dumbest. No offense, Mike. I think the Mike- complete opposite. What's your prediction? <laughs> well, I know it's good if the camera's out. It's either really good or really bad. Equally as likely. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt that it's been a long day, and I'm gonna say ninety-two. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh! What? What the fuck? This thing is it has to be broken. No offense. <laughs> no way. Evan's the smartest sea boy, man. Holy shit. Followed up by Mike. What a plot twist. <laughs> the test is reversed. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Are we sure that this is the right way? Like, are we sure that a uh, higher score is good? <laughs> Damn, dude. Respect. Sorry for doubting you. What can I say, Benny? What's up with the fight outside your door that one night? There was a yeah. fight? So we get moved to the new room. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that nice of a hotel. <laughs> we had moved to a new room and we're fucking sleeping. All of a sudden, she wakes me up. She's like, Get down, get down. <laughs> she thought there was going to be like gunfire. Holy crap. She like, really I didn't like trust this up, place. I'm like, What the fuck? And there's this whole commotion and we're on the bottom floor. So I like walk out and got my contacts in, none of that. And I go and open up the fucking blinds. There's like these two frat looking college kids and a dad and the girl. They're fucking freaking out at these other two dudes. And then there's like the security, the hotel security trying to like, you know, them. like inter- like stop them. And the police ended up coming. <gasps> but this fucking like frat kid, like this college kid. And then there's like, so there's a dad and a mom too. And I feel like they were like the girlfriend's parents. parents. I'm like, dude, oh, I really hope this, ki- this kid, I hope boy? this, I hope this kid wasn't on vacation with his girlfriend's family because he had to have looked terrible. Ooh. No, hopefully not. But anyways, the fucking frat kid picks up this security guards, uh, walkie talkie and like threw it at the oh. ground, like spiked it. And the, the security guards, like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> it was such a, such a mess. <laughs> Meanwhile, Alex is like, <laughs> the bed. I'm like, baby, these guys are pussies. They're not, they don't got guns. We don't got to worry about nothing. And I'm standing there in my boxers just like watching. from here to the, like not far at all. Like they could very clearly see me. I'm just watching. <laughs> and uh, the cops come and like they're like trying to hold, like they're detaining like the. Oh my God. The, uh, the frat looking kids. The other guys were kind of, they pull them off this way. And the mom is like, he's a criminal justice major. He's a criminal justice major. <laughs> oh my god! And it god. was the funniest fucking. Yeah, you thing know to who me? else was a criminal justice major? Who? The guy that shot. Uh, the guy that murdered the four students. He was a criminal justice. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and I thought that was funny because I was like, oh, yeah, he's he, – never mind, guys. You got to let him off. He's a criminal justice major. He's drunk, throwing walkie-talkies, picking a fight, and I just thought it was but funny. But he knows what he's doing. He's a criminal justice major. And I just kept saying that then for the rest of the day. <laughs> I was basically just making fun of college degrees, which then Alex, you know, she – Maybe just got annoyed at me constantly. <laughs> He's a criminal justice major. Yeah, there's, there's, and I almost opened the door and started cracking some jokes. She's like, "Stop it! That stop it!" So uh, you know, dude, dude. there was his fold like this. He's a criminal justice <laughs> major. Okay, there's no major that she could have. You gotta let him go. That would have made it better, right? No, you know, no. criminal Even justice he's, major. He's going to school to be a doctor. It'd be like, okay, he just tried he's to kind of an assault idiot, me, bro. Yeah, would yeah. be like, he's going for communications. Well, he obviously isn't very good at it. Hey guys, this guy's going to college. We gotta let him go. <laughs> he's a criminal justice <laughs> major. Have you were with me when I did this? But uh, I got a call the other day uh, from the, uh, <laughs> the 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 Clay County Sheriff's Office, and you know. Uh, it, it gave me flashbacks to like when I was younger, I'd get a call from the sheriff's department and they would, you know, it'd be something that I was like maybe potentially involved in. Nothing crazy. Like having your subwoofers too loud. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like we're, Hey, you know, were you, were you with the, the fellas that were throwing fireworks at the park, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Um, but anyway, flashbacks to that, but I, I'm, I'm getting a call from the Clay County Sheriff's department. Uh -oh. I'm like, well, I was like, dude, answer it. It's going to be, just answer it. So I answer it. And, it was like and, the jail recording, like press yeah. button to accept call. So yeah, then, yeah. yeah. So then it was like press button to accept call for the jail. I'm like, okay, well, cool. Someone in jail is calling me. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> this is so how Mike would answer the phone. It was so great. I got, you know, hello. And he's just like, hey, you still, are you still with dad? <laughs> And I just no way. And, oh man, did I ever want to troll him? Did I? I want to <laughs> roll that with you know, but I oh. couldn't waste his minutes. Yeah, that's and so, what he's, oh, that that was his next thing. He just goes, "I just added four more minutes. You still with dad?" And I was like, "Listen, you got the wrong number. <laughs> Hang up. Call who you got to call because you only got three now." <laughs> like. <laughs> Someone from jail yeah. called you? Yeah, just, it, and it happened number. so quick, like that quick. Like you said, like, are you with dad? I'm out of, I got four minutes. Yep. And I, I was like, like oh, wrong guy, wrong. And he's like, boop. <laughs> you know, assuming that, yeah, he was like, well, fudge, why did I dial the extra zero or whatever? Oh, no. We kind of just like, was like, what was that? What was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what just happened? It was just too good. I'm just like picturing you being in jail, someone, and trying to call your dad or your sister or your mom or your loved one your significant other and just messing up the ending numbers. up with micah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it can't be that easy to get minutes in there i mean no you gotta get money I, somehow yeah, god I, knows what he had to do to get those minutes <laughs> seriously <laughs> only god knows <laughs> <laughs> not good so then i started filming some shit uh like tried to just copy what they were doing car reviews this and that and then i was like oh okay like that's cool but like i don't have any money let me start filming me and my friends. Similar story. And then started filming more and more and then got a BRZ and then started filming shit on that and would post that shit like on Facebook, forum pages. I'd get blocked on the forums. That was like <laughs> everyone was shit talking me on the forums. Um, and it just kind of like started building and building and building. And it wasn't ever like a moment that popped, but it was like I eventually started uploading three times a week when I was in college, like delegating all my time. And then like one summer uh, when I had maybe like 15,000 subs, like was on summer break doubled down started like uploading like almost every day and then started making like three grand a month four grand a month and then that four grand a month jumped to like 10 g's i'm like what the f i still have the screenshots on my like youtube adsense account Same. like i'm yeah. tripping out yeah and then it was like oh okay i just made like 13 15 grand at the end of summer i'm gonna go back to my job and then i was in the nursing program at my school and then nurses here make like 100 g's a year and i'm like i'm making more right now allegedly if i continue this mm -hmm. than if i was no nursing and I went back to school, saw like the syllabus for that semester and was like, I, I'm I, screw I was this, like dude. I can't fucking keep up six videos in this trip and this trip. And I was like traveling, meeting other YouTubers all summer. And I was, I just like freaked the fuck out. And I, I walked out of class and like, what year were you in school that year? My junior year. So you were in, I mean, yeah, I wasn't yeah, like were, freshman sophomore I was, year. I was in and I was like 50 grand in debt Oof. in college, in college debt. Um, yeah, I just walked out. And I was like, uh-uh. Just on the chance of, yeah. and you, at that point, you were like, I'm going to be a YouTuber full well, time. It, it was more, it wasn't like, I'm going to be a YouTuber at the time because like, it was still such a foreign concept. It wasn't like a, like, you know, like there's third graders are like, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. Like yeah. that wasn't a thing then. So yeah. it was more like 
fuck, I'm just doing really well now. If I slow down, I'll never know what could have been. And that thought scared the shit out of me. So anyway, I was watching Facebook, as I do (laughs) sometimes, and I saw this video uh, that's about to play. And I thought about just sending in our group chat and going, at Ben could never do this. But then I thought it'd be funnier to talk about it on the podcast. So roll roll 15 seconds of the clip. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Well, the brims are too big. This guy's cheating. I think my friend Ben could do this with factory hats. <laughs> you want me to test on me? Holy shit. I just oh, love scary. The, this is just some really odd Chinese game show Guinness Dude. World Records thing. Like, fastest hats removed. Uh, this is dumb. These, I could these find poor women are scared. Drunken Dude. laborers they're, that could do this. Yeah. With a beer in that is true. Legs. Operators, it's like an extension of their body, but... This this also just shows like, I swear to God, Chinese game shows <laughs> are so dangerous. So we changed our Wi-Fi, and uh, one of the things it, it shows web traffic to different websites. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> one of the top sites has been the hub. No, really? Really? Like, not, not top, but like oh, it's, top? it's identified. Hold oh on. Wait, does it say what they're like searching? Like what kind of category no, it, it or nothing? Just, it just shows traffic between oh, the sites. Just hold on, the hold hub. on, hold on. For here or your house? For here. For really? here. <laughs> well, who, who's the only one well, that lives here? Who's the well, one? The only two that live here. Evan who's and the, Mike. <laughs> or do we have a work jerker? I don't okay, think so. Okay, pull it up. Ken. There there are three devices. Uh oh. Yeah, thirteen let's just get... Pro Max, an eleven Pro Max, and a fourteen Pro Max. Neither of them are me. That's not my I, I, I got a little scared. On the scared. hub? That, uh, yeah. <laughs> so well, yeah. <laughs> That's the, funny. The 13, so how many visits? Uh, it doesn't say that. It just says three clients have visited the hub. Does it say the dates? <laughs> uh, no, it just says in the last 30 days. That is Interesting. Funny. Can keep in tabs. <laughs> yeah, Micah was so hungover in that video, he didn't wake up until two, remember? I, could, I just couldn't. Our biggest YouTube video I ever. Ever. Couldn't. At the, that point, for sure. Which is like, talk. That's about, right. Honestly, yeah. That's like, slept right. through it. Talk about like. Living standard. With so <laughs> standard. standard. You yeah. slept through that, dude. I forgot about that. We couldn't get him up when you said, "Whatever, let's just do it right. Do it right now." And then I still love sleeping. Don't get me wrong. There, I don't have crippling hangovers like that anymore. Mm-hmm. Try to be a little because honestly, like since the, I was just so bummed. Like, yeah, it's okay. Hard to get hung over when you're babysitting them. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. He had a two beer limit. Yeah, yeah how yeah. could he be hung over? That's what I mean. I don't. He pushed I, the, it a little the crippling bit. hangover like that, where you just miss. I mean, or to your me, internal I, dialogue turns off. I felt like I missed. <laughs> That's a, a new definition yeah, of hungover. hungover. <laughs> I felt like I missed a part of history because essentially I, I did. mean, you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna phrase this question one way. You can take it two ways. Do you think that video did so well because you weren't oh, there? Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the brutal. first way That's you could take it is exactly brutal. how you all did. The second one is the second half of that video is us waking you up, and it adds a good dynamic to yeah. the storyline. When you're watching, you go, wow, one of these guys was so hungover. He, <laughs> they woke him up with a fire extinguisher at 3 in the afternoon. Yeah. Pretty funny. Yeah, that's so true. You it never is know. Both ways. It is funny, though, when you watch that back, is... Uh, it opens up with us trying to wake up Micah. Yeah, and then <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah. viral video. Our, make, our most viral video is us... Complete. That is not how like you're supposed to do open YouTube and open up a video. Right. And and yeah, we that's true. and I mean it's just kind of proof. It really doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. But uh, I, you, I, every time I watch that back, I, I'm always laughing. Like damn, that's how one Mike it. slept through this, and two, this is how we <laughs> opened, opened it up. It. See what I mean? It could be option two. If you guys haven't seen our last video, um, we we took our grandpa Ron bowling, and uh, he, he might have. Had an, uh, a little bit of a slip I'm accident. Not, I'm, I'm not going to make the tour. Let's put it that way. <laughs> a bowling tour? But, nah, I don't think so. I'm not quite good enough for that yet. I didn't. I don't know how many injuries there are in bowling. Luckily, you don't seem to be injured. But I mean, you damn well could have been. You know, when you have a head with nothing in it, <laughs> you really can't get hurt that bad. Damn. So there was uh, a lot of concerned people, obviously, in the comments. But I got reached out to by. Just a bunch of friends being like, yo, is your grandpa okay? And um, thankfully you are, but a bunch of people have been wondering, so we wanted to have you on the podcast to show that you're still kicking it and still doing all right, and uh, and then also just sh- sit down and shoot the shit with you. What's okay? I mean, people never, <laughs> yeah, thought, yeah, yeah. People never thought it was really okay, no matter what I do. So <laughs> it's one of the, but yeah, I'm fine. It took a little bounce there on the, 
on the uh, <laughs> alley, but uh, it, I didn't realize it was that slippery, to be honest. <laughs> with and I, in fact, somebody asked me if it was planned. Well, I, I kind of planned on hitting that uh, alley and sliding on my chest forward all the way to the pins, but when I threw the ball, it kind of threw me off balance. I went on my back. So It was amazing how off the cuff you were going, though. I mean, even with, with – you know, the back and forth riffs between you and CJ, like, you know, going into it, we were just like, all right, here's kind of what we're going to do, but you know, just feel it out and, and just, uh, you know, do whatever you think is funny. And then you go and do that shit, which honestly would have been hilarious if you wouldn't have ate shit. But imagine <laughs> if he would have successfully gone halfway down and Slid. thrown the ball. As soon as you went walking out there, you can see me go, oh, fuck, Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa. Because I, I legit you. knew what I, I was like, you. does he, what? I, did, I didn't know what you were thinking. I assumed you know it's slippery being that, not that slippery. you know, you've been through 80 years of life. You think you <laughs> would know I'm not a that smart. bowling alley is slippery. <laughs> Hey, you want to put this? Yep. Close oh, um, okay. Yeah, but like yeah, that. no, it was it was pretty amazing how good you were uh, at off the cuff just doing that and just going in it. You weren't even scared or anything. Like, I was I was telling Ben, I was like, dude, I mean, we're pretty committed to this lifestyle of like doing stuff like that sometimes. And uh, you were just basically like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And you just went in, guns a blazing, and just did perfect. You could be an actor. I've been told that, but not a, not a good one. That's the only problem. <laughs> You're a great actor. Oh, yeah, well. You'd be your own stuntman, too. Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know what kind of stunts I could do. I, I do that. my own stunts. I uh, do my own stunts, is right, and I'll see how long that would last. But, oh, yeah, it was fun with you guys. I, you know, I enjoy it. Hell. You're a hit. You're a well, hit. Well, I don't know about that. You got to see yeah. every comment is about you in well, the comment yeah. section. That's, <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Norman, he's humble. Norman. So, Ryan, Crazy you... Dude. You We're slept solid. with Ben one night in Florida. Yeah, we had different beds, though. <laughs> I had to sleep with Ben one night in Florida. In the same bed? You the same bed. With Ben oh, in different okay. beds. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ken loves just out. And Let's hear that. Well, what the fuck did you do, Ben? What do you <laughs> I, mean? I don't know. I was drunk for one story, and now I'm sleeping for the other. <laughs> Pretty much out of control for both. So Ryan, what, what else did I do? Ryan, you've got a video when he slept with you. But oh, I, I do. I'll pop it up. He giggles. It is so I, unsolicited. Right. I, was I, went to, I went to bed. He, Him and Ryan kept drinking outside. And I wake up. And, and ready to pour it up. It's like 4 or 5 o'clock in the oh, morning. And I wake up to... Up. <laughs> 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 He's like Fuck bolt people. upright just... Giggling. Oh my God. Was upright? I was sitting yeah. upright. Ken yeah. was probably oh, that, thinking. Ken was probably thinking. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's really gonna kill me this time. <laughs> and then oh eventually, you just lay back down. And then probably thirty minutes later, I wake up. You're just grabbing my ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, Ben? <laughs> ben. And I was what? like, Ben, get the fuck away. <laughs> I love Ken's feet when he did that. Grabbing like your ass. Ben. I don't remember that. Oh, you, wait, he grabbed you like this. No, oh, it was it's like he was fucking grabbing it. Full blown grabbing it. Good no. hold of it. No oh, chance. Oh my no gosh, chance. Dude. There's a good chance. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance. I had to slap you away a couple like it wasn't just get once. It was me. like two or three get times. Off me. Stop it. Stop it. Can resist those cheeks, Ken. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, jeez. Man, did you feel violated? I felt extremely <laughs> uncomfortable and violated. I don't think I slept the whole night. <laughs> Ken went to the police station, filed the report, but then he retracted it right at, like shortly after. What were you like afternoon. afraid of? Were you were you <laughs> were you awake so much because you were afraid of it happening again? He just kept doing things so frequently, and it's like I'm about to fall asleep, and then he just does something else. Oh, <laughs> what else did he do? Well, he giggled a couple times, and then he grabbed my ass. Just no trust. I think he was awake. And then by the time I, I think he was awake. By the time he finally stopped doing stuff, the sun was coming up. He was just <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Ken's oh, like, oh, once God. I finally settled well, down, Ken's a victim moving. of the night. I better just go rip some coffee. That's crazy. Before man. Ben touches my ass again. <laughs> it was an uncomfortable night. I'm sorry, Ken. I actually really am. I had no control over that. And I'm sorry. I don't really have anything else to oh, say. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's funny looking back. But he it's, probably thought but in the moment it was Greta. terrible. I did. I probably thought you were Greta. Couldn't resist those cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> he like starts feeling in his face. Go, oh, Greta, you're a little hairy. <laughs> I haven't shaved lately. <laughs> okay, so Ken, what is it with you and like just budging into the bathroom even when the door is closed? 
<laughs> well, you don't always know if somebody's in there. What? That's well, okay. That's what I'm <laughs> wondering. Because so sometimes people leave the door shut and you're yes, like, and there's but, nobody in there. Well, you yes. That's why you just lock but, the door. Well, or not. Okay. I do knock. I and then sometimes is, nobody answers. How long but do you give them? What the fuck them? are you doing in there, Mike, where you don't Bro, hear him knock? He <laughs> doesn't knock for me. I'm not going to exaggerate it. This has happened three times to me where I'm just like, and, and actually two other times where I was just shitting with the door open. That I get. You <laughs> walk up on me and go, oh. Yeah. I'm like, ah, sorry, I didn't think anyone was here. But then the other three times, you, it's, even if that's it's a, that's it's so a, strange, I've, I feel that's too much for me. No, I just agree. shitting with the door open. I can't at even the sleep shop with, the with how open. many people come through here. But then the other three, he like just like walks in. It's just like a swift walk up, grab the door. Oh, you, you look so surprised. And then I'm like, what? Why did you swiftly walk in like that? How far? Why don't you, you lock the door? Like is he? I guess the, I just don't. But a lot of us. To be fair, I never yeah, lock the door. I, it's just when it's closed. Yeah, it's our shop. I don't feel like there's just random nerds walking in most of the time. Well, there is nerds though. But yeah, <laughs> usually when the I door always... is closed, it just means so. Like again, I'm I'm not saying I've ever heard any knocks. And then we're we're at the Sugar Sean fight. We got a whole bunch of people there, and Sydney and Angelo into the bathroom, and then Sydney's like. Oh, Ken just walked in on us, but I mean, we were. Whoa! Like, and I was like, what? Whoa. If the door was closed at a party, there's not no <laughs> one in there. Like, I just don't know how that happens. Ken, Open. what do you have against people's privacy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to catch a peek? Sometimes you just got to go. And, and what, it's, what, it's, are you, mostly, what are you going to do, Ken, if somebody's it, sitting on the can is and it, you have to go? It's mostly off. some people like just don't. They, they go out the bathroom through Evan's room. And then that door is just shut for like two hours. That and like, doesn't happen. That often does. Happen. Just, just sitting out there for two hours waiting for someone to come out. Have you guys ever had any moments where you've thought to yourself, like, where's the camera? Like in normal life, somebody random that you don't know, like you look around, you're like, what is going on? All the time. On right Whenever now? like something weird is happening, I'm always like, am I being set up? Like, is there <laughs> like, a prank? Is there a camera? You know, <laughs> I hear like a noise in my house at night. I'm like, yeah. Someone's or, pranking me. No, I, pretty much everything weird that ever happens, I'm always like, Mm -hmm. I am the joke. And then as soon as, no offense, guys, but as soon as I realize that CJ is also behind, not behind it, I'm like, oh, there's nothing. Because you two and Ken, usually, well, Ken can't keep it a secret, so I usually always find out before he ever tries to do anything. I never actually go through with anything. The few things you, that I do, I, you, I don't have. Honestly, you guys just aren't, like, big enough dicks to, like, pick up and, and do a prank on one of us. <laughs> Ah, that's what I mean. Like I, the, the yeah, thoughts, not worth it. the well, thoughts enter I my head. Say but that they're not big enough dicks. Well, I what mean, what the fuck's that make me a dick for making funny little? Bits? I guess it yeah, makes you a dick. I would say in a, in a way we're constantly just trying to fuck with with each other, and and for, usually it's for, for the, the sake content of it's for the content. Yeah, I get that. I better good. Yeah, but like they don't have like the mindset no, of like good. constantly messing with other people. Yeah, I think I mean, if, we if you can admit both things, if it's for the better, it's yes, it's still. Maybe a mean prank, and it's for the better good. Yeah. I like the better good. <laughs> well, what's the yeah, real good saying of it? Oh, yeah. I don't know the I real think it's saying. greater good. The greater. Oh, for the, the greater good. good. But I like better good. When we flew into uh, Jackson Hole when we went snowmobiling a couple weeks ago, the people who wrote Yellowstone nailed it. I literally looked around, and I thought I was in the show. Because there's people walking around. First of all, you get off the plane, and it's amazing, the mountains and the nice airport, nicest airport I've ever Free been mimosas. in. Free You walk Did in, you, you walk in, and in the baggage claim, there's... Free mimosas. That's crazy. Well, not even at a bar. At no. The baggage claim. No. They're just, they're Bro, just you, on a little stand. Like a lemonade stand, but for free mimosas. That was the best way to put it. They don't it, was even, a, it was a lemonade stand for free mimosas. It was the crazy... No, they didn't check a single ID. No. That's awesome. Yeah. It was, it was wild. Dude, there was this guy on the plane who looked exactly like the one guy that tried to shut him down. The first big businessman. I'll pop up his picture here. But he's got this flowing hair. He's wearing like a... A Montclair or whatever that brand is. Really fancy skiing brand. I don't even fucking know. Puffer jacket. Like kind of uh, adventure pants. And he's walking around. Is that the one the that plane. had the cowboy hat? Too? Yeah. And he yeah. walks out of first class and he's throwing his hair back. First of all, took a shit like nine times. I don't even. I, there was something going on with him for sure. But I was keeping an eye on this guy. I was right in front of the bathroom. And I was like, dude, what is this guy doing? But every time he'd walk up, he'd pick a new person. He'd be like. What you doing? Hey, first time in Jackson. Like he was going back home to his freaking ski mansion. And I was like, man, 
No wonder people that live out here hate these people. They were so so hateable. There was a guy wearing yeah. a shawl. Well, yeah, like a like a poncho, but like a little bit more westerny. And so, he was just wearing it in the airport. I'm like, dude, you flew Delta first class <laughs> to Jackson Hole. You're gonna go skiing. Why, why do you look like you just are traversing the Oregon Trail on a horse? Yeah. On a horse, yeah. When when me and Ryan got there. They lost our baggage, so we're like going up and we're dealing with the people at Delta and and uh, as we're standing there, there was a lady next to us um, that was also dealing with lost baggage from our flight, and the guy was like standing there, and you could tell he was getting a little hotter and hotter because then he started raising his voice, and then that's when me and Ryan started watching what was going on. The guy goes, "Huh." Ah! I have no clothes to wear, and I'm here for five days. And the lady's like, "I." Don't know what to tell you. And he goes, I'm from L.A. I don't have clothes for this anyways. And the lady's like, well, what? what's the problem then? And he's like, don't raise your voice at me. She's like, yeah. don't raise your voice at me. They're, they're trying me to and calm them like, down. What the fuck is going on? Like, these two are just yelling at each other right now. This guy just kept bringing up that he was from California. It was the weirdest shit ever. It was like, and then not I was a like, flex right now. <laughs> yeah, not a flex. And I was like, man, this is why... All these Californians moving here just get such a bad rep is because obviously there's probably people that hate California and then there's people that are in love with California but want to move out of California but bring all their politics and problems to the mountain towns. But it was interesting. We were talking to Blaine, who was one of the, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I th for some reason, I thought you were CJ first. <laughs> I blacked out there. I looked over like you weren't with on the trip. You know, Blaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blaine and Jay. You know Blaine. No, but Blaine is like a full-on cowboy rancher. And he was like, yeah, dude, like, it's pretty much exactly how it is in the show is like all these ranch hands, you know, like we're all kind of, we're real rough around the edges, real cowboys, right? So then when we go into towns, especially Jackson, he was like, all these pretend cowboys, like, will be pretend cowboys, and real cowboys do not fuck with that one bit. And he was like, yeah, pretty much every time we go out, we get into bar fights and everything like that. And I was like, damn, that's pretty cool to hear. Like, it's Dude, pretty cool uh, to hear that that's, like, actually how it is. I would not wear a cowboy hat in Jackson. No. Be, I would not. I no, feel like it'd just be insulting. Shit. I wouldn't it'd wear like, a cowboy hat anyway. Well, okay, true. And I, I don't wear it. I effed up then. I did that. Did you remember when I wore... It tucked in jeans and my cowboy boots. I remember. A, a big ass American flag button up and then a cowboy hat and then handlebars. Oh, when out you, downtown yeah, Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seem to fit in pretty well with that whole look, but maybe Jackson is almost more phony cowboys. It was like the outskirts. Oh, for sure. That could outskirts, be, yeah. like. Uh, like Driggs, Af Afton, and Afton Driggs, the places Alpine, that we've those, went. Yeah. Pop up that video that I sent you. Man, this oh is, this is tough. Oh, yeah. This, this is, is so bad. tough. All right, I'm like, Coming this is into awesome. A I want to do this. Bridal party. <laughs> oh. Bro. I love how he just picks her right up. Oh, no, the so guy that went famous on Barstool for his wedding, um, the motorcycle crash. He happened. wasn't the guy that crashed. It wasn't the guy getting married, was it? No, it was like his, uh, his friend at the okay. wedding that was pulling in. So he actually reached out to us. Oh. He said he's had the podcast sent to him a million times, has watched. Wow, we should have had him on. I know. So he, I, I asked him to just kind of text me the story over Instagram. His first message to me was, LOL, that was my wedding in the Harley that looped out. <laughs> the property owner and myself got arrested that night. Oh, Everyone is good, and the wife loved every minute of it. I can send you pics and behind-the-scenes content if you'd like. Wouldn't and I was like, you got arrested at your own wedding? That's freaking crazy, Damn, man. That, That's a that, party. That's, that's a party. To, to think that the loop out was like the second most legendary <laughs> thing that happened Man, in that night. There's a quite the story and quite a bit to talk about about that, that wedding. No, this is a redneck wedding. And yeah, exactly. The bride wasn't upset. No, that's a wedding apparently. people be pissed to miss. Straight up, <laughs> that's what most of the time you're like, ah, I don't really care. I don't even really want to go. But that one, you'd be like, God damn, <laughs> I missed that. What? <laughs> so he said he had about twenty six k into the wedding after lawyer fees. What was the lawyer problems for? And then he also says, I would not change a single thing if I had to do it over. We are a wild group, wild and reckless group of friends that like to have fun. So the lawyer came in because we got arrested for loud noise at about 2 a.m. And the cops came out for a third time and they were arresting his good buddy who was the property owner. And he said he's not letting his buddy go to jail on his wedding day without him. Oh, damn, <laughs> what like, a guy. A good he's like, I'm going down with the ship. So he said... 
I had to go into, and uh, my drunk dumbass got taken to jail. We went Saturday night and got out on Tuesday night. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Yo, his what? Yeah. yeah. That <laughs> was a honeymoon. honeymoon. <laughs> his wife joke. came and visited him, hand up on the glass. <laughs> Honey, this is perfect. <laughs> so he said the fire department had to come out earlier in the night because there was a huge fire that was so big, people like thought the barn or a field was burning down. So their sound system had eight 18 inch subwoofers that was heard through the neighborhood, and the barn was on 27 acres. He says, Man. I'll send you some vids. Love your show. Holy shit! Does well, he do, he listens to it, or he just got it. I think he got it sent to us to it, but he uh, heard of the channel and stuff wow, like that. Wow, that's is awesome! Cool. Hey, I kind of just want to go party with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys know how to party, dude. Weed's legal, yes. Canada. Yeah. How long is that? Oh, weed's been legal since I've been smoking it. So the whole twenty thirteen. What in Canada? Yeah, weed's been legal that long. Well, for me, it has been. I just walk around with it everywhere. Hold up. No. Is that how that works? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I just love that. Yeah, it's been legal for me since I've been smoking yeah, it. Oh, yeah. But Tw- weed's been legal since Trudeau came and burnt this country down. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's so got to be one, one good thing. For you, huh? One good he, thing. I almost don't want to say it. One good thing that he's done? Yeah, weed legal. Yeah. 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 That's what it. Well, like you smoke weed over drinking? I'm on and off with weed. I took, like, I didn't smoke weed for a whole year last year just for my concussions. But, like, after I finally was concussion, like, symptom free. I started smoking again. So, so Canada got some pretty exciting news. There is a new self-driving service, and don't worry. Yes, it is an electric video. Uh, excuse me, an electric vehicle. It's called Sex LA, and it is a self-driving car. Sex. Hold sex. on. What? Yes, it is a a self-driving, sex-positive robo taxi. Oh, Ken's. <laughs> Ken's favorite thing. That's a lot of He's words for, hard right uh, now. For more, service. More accurately, a way for people to service themselves while using an autonomous, uh, autonomous pod service. Do we not have a camera on Ken? Shoot. Oh, my oh, gosh. I just, I just Wait, you my, have to uh, service yourself phone. in the sex car? Uh, it does say to enjoy a revolutionary <laughs> masturbatory experience. God, I can't read today. Sorry. So hold on. You can just jerk off while it drives you? Can you bring a friend? That seems a little weird. Yeah. You're driving around town jerking off. Seems illegal. There's gotta be right? some, I'm into some weird shit, but that's just weird, dude. <laughs> There's got to be some law about not being weird. able to do that. About jerking off as you're driving around. It's got tinted windows. Comes with <laughs> tinted windows. What happens if you get pulled over for window tint? You got your dick in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> your pants are in the back. You're like... <laughs> you're getting in an accident. Jeez Louise. You're hopping out. Pants are on your ankles. Is this actually... All lotioned up. <laughs> is, it, is this real? Yeah, it's a Motor Trend article. Oh, okay. So it's, it's looking... That's a car? Uh, no, that's not the actual car. It's, it's down here. Got a long car right ahead of you. You know, I don't want to throw anyone's idea, like say anyone's idea is a bad idea, but that's just a bad, dumb idea. Really? You're not into that? No. that That's just a dumb idea. Which part? Okay. The whole start to finish. I mean, I think a sex car is a great idea, but a masturbation a mas- car? A sex yeah. car, fine. A masturbation car, that's just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I've definitely heard worse ideas. <laughs> you ever jerk, Ken, while you're while Elon's driving you home? No. Never but you it. totally That'd probably could. Be the, yeah, the best time to do it. You're in safe hands. Yeah, you, you're in safe hands. <laughs> You've got the big screen two, right two, here. Two different safe hands. <laughs> How are the roads tonight? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did learn in Vegas, though, is when I'm really hungover, my internal dialogue turns off. Like, you guys have that where you, like, talk to yourself in your brain as you're walking around? You guys all have that? Yeah, I think yeah. I saw an Instagram thing that like forty percent of people don't have an internal dialogue, which, which is really weird. Seems insane. Yeah, I don't know. How, what do like, those people do? You're just saying like your brain works. Not thinking. No, that's that on auto that in makes, autopilot mode. Yeah, yeah. You're just but like on. when you're walking around, are you having conversations with yourself in your head? Just thinking. Yeah. 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 I that's mean, why just, it's hard it, to it, like. It is hard for me to even believe that because like you have a point there. It is just thinking, but it's like, yeah. You're like, like talking to yourself or like all right. Maybe you are sitting in the skid steer and you're like, all right, I got to move this over there. And then you're thinking about like, okay, well, if I do it this way, it'll work faster. Like you're trying to form a plan. You're right. It's thinking, but you're talking with yourself. It's the talking about yourself. Okay. Not just like I go there. But yeah, when okay. you're, wait, when you're right, hung so, over, so. it is just, I go there. It turns off. I eat this. 
I I lay down. I, yeah, I was walking around and I realized that I hadn't talked to myself in hours. <laughs> and it was so peaceful. I was like, man, I'm better when I'm not talking to myself. You just like are just trying to survive, dude. And there's something beautiful about that. Huh. So I think I'm gonna might try shutting off my internal dialogue more. You just gotta be hung over more. Yeah, it's I don't wrong. know if I can do that sounds anymore. <laughs> it sounds miserable. Well, I was just about to start telling this story about this guy. Uh, his mom died as he was born. You know, really, really sad. This is back in 1856. Mm-hmm. And uh, he didn't have a dad, so monks adopted him. So he moved up to the top of this uh, mountain. In a, in a country that I can't is find. Is this a guy in, who's never seen a woman? He Insane. lived 82 years of life. Insane. Never even set eyes he, on like, a woman. He didn't what? know like, what a, you know, a female was. He's a monk, dude. It's not like he's up there watching movies so was and he, jerking was off. Was he gay then? Because um, you got to have some kind I, of Honestly, physical... I would say no because I don't think they're... I, I don't think they're really allowed to well, pursue right. sexual attraction. You know, inside, like in his own thoughts. Probably. you got to have Maybe some he's kind like of asexual. Desire. Possibly, yeah, but, I, probably, but is that yeah, more but of like a thing that you develop from your around, like surroundings, or would you just be born that way? You roll a good point. Yeah, if you're up there, did with he die? I, yeah, I, I think he's and so he never saw a woman. Never saw, never saw a woman. So he never found out. Pretty tough. I would like to know uh, how many less problems that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably at least a couple. Actually, well, think yeah, he, being a monk and not knowing what women are, he probably didn't have any problems. Okay, hold on. What about the rest of the monks? Did none of them communicate, like, at all? That's kind of what I was wondering. No, like, I think they talked, but oh, they're they all talked. just men. Like he knew that it, the I women, think he knew oh, women he heard, existed. He heard wise tales. Wow. Well, Legends of a woman. Real stories, yeah. But, yeah, like, there was, there's no women allowed in the monastery, so he never saw. I mean, I feel like he got it. He had to have seen a picture or something. How could he go his whole life? I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to even wrap, wrap my head mind. around what's going on. I thought it was funny that we were doing, like, this... Uh, Dry January, trying not to drink. Well, <laughs> I guess I wasn't, but a couple of people in the group were like, "We're we're doing dry January." And then right after we got done golfing, everyone was like, "Should we go downtown?" And I was like, well, "Go downtown to the bars? What do you mean? No, let's let's not do that. That sounds terrible for the people that are sober or like trying to be sober." And then I was like, well, what if we just go to the arcade? We go downstairs, go to the arcade. I swear everyone that was like doing dry January was like, this sucks. I was like, what else do you do when you're sober? I feel like this is just one of those things. True. Like, <laughs> What else is there to do? I'm a big advocate. <laughs> what else is there to do? Go, you can't go to the arcade. There's nothing. So I, I failed dry January. <laughs> I didn't start until after Idaho. So I started on like the 15th. And then I made it, which was Wednesday. I thought you were going to say the 5th or something. Like, I mean, no, it, was I know. it was the 15th. And then I I was like, all right, dry January here on out. And I made it Wednesday, Thursday. And then I drank on Friday. But I don't blame myself. That was a good couple, days, was a good couple <laughs> days. Your liver thanks you. And my lack of self-control. I blame my surroundings. Mm. Yeah. Your environment. Yeah, they know I, they don't take accountability. No, absolutely not. It's not my fault. Of course. That I broke. If if I had been around better people that didn't take me out to a golfing drinking establishment and then take me to a, a drinking games environment and then tease me with the carrot of going downtown. Hold up. Ken, are, are you doing dry January? Hey, hey Ryan, I've been, doing, I've been doing dry January since the 7th when I got home from Florida. <laughs> you need to give and I went through all applause. the same places and I still haven't had a drink since. <laughs> I, I am impressed. It, it is. When, that's, that's I awesome. think it is. How do you feel, Ken? Do you feel good? Extremely bored. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, Ken was one of the people in the arcade. Like, fuck this. <laughs> have it, you, have you considered? Was. Uh, well, then drugs? I went to the. They had a they had a blackjack table there, and I go play blackjack. I'm like, God, I just need a drink. I just need a beer. Or a vodka Red Bull or something would make it so much more entertaining. Dude, look at the look in his eyes right now. He's talking about alcohol getting all red. Passionate. Again. See, I could quit anytime I wanted to. I just wanted it. I didn't need it. Oh, like right. Him. All right. That's what I was going to say is that I'm not about like, all right, I need to take two weeks off, mostly because I know I can't do it. But. <laughs> <laughs> pause for laugh. Pause for laugh. Amen. But if it happens, you know, Mike, it that happens. Is something I, I, I have always respected about you is the self awareness. The self awareness yeah. is just 
It's it's a it's, it's off there. the charts, man. So it's like I'm so proud of you for that. <laughs> what it what is the point of calling it dry January? If you started the fifteenth or you started the seventh, what really? I mean, I it's easier to explain to people. Oh, why aren't you drinking? Yeah, dry dry January. It's easy to explain, hey, but bro, I'm not bro, a doing like, doing dry January is exactly like having having a heated jacket. Or going to CrossFit. Yeah, you like you gotta <laughs> tell like everybody. All these it things. is. You can't do you can't dry January and not without telling everyone you're doing dry January. What That's about accurate? Uh, no, not November. Did that pan out for you guys? Wait, pan out? Who does that? I sure didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is one of those things. I'm like legit. Like, who does that? Do well, people still do that? I think the still? same thing about dry January. They're both. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I think I'm. I, I like no shave November. Like just do with that what you will. It can be your beard. Could you be your whole body? Like that's fun. That's funny. It changes your look. Doesn't hurt anybody. But no, not November. That hurts people. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna make a joke, but it just didn't feel right. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm not drunk. I just pretend to be. No, you're fucking drunk. I've been searching a ton for. Our Subaru rebuild. We're rebuilding our rally Subaru. Yep. So I've been looking at, you know, our suspension, bumpers, all that stuff. I don't know how much we want to give away. But I came across this video that happened in 2017 when they released the new STI. And I have no idea how I never saw this because for Subaru marketing, like this is the most intense video I've ever seen for a car company. So they took this Subaru to, I think it's like the oldest bobsled run in the world or something like that. Studded tires. Oh, wow. Tires. Oh, they're very narrow. Yeah, we need tires like that for the ice. Yeah. But look how Western he gets on this thing, dude. Like, it actually looks intense. Holy shit. It's so That's narrow. narrow. Oh, he's hitting snowbanks and everything. Oh, whoa, whoa. Fuck. Dude, he's... Dude, those walls he's riding on is just so not... That thing's got to be the, so the dented up. huge, <laughs> yeah. Compared to the size of a... Oh, oh, bro. This is like a death wish. Look at this one, dude. <gasps> this is the last corner, which is the biggest oh! one. No! No! <laughs> it's dented bad. Dude, yeah, he, dude. He went for it, though. He freaking, like, hit his windshield on the side of the wall. Dang, but, that was sick, dude. We should do that. I was like, how have I never seen this piece of super marketing? This is fucking great. That was sick. Yeah, Probably because cool. you weren't watching TV at the time. Dang, oh. dude. I've never thought of bobsledding. We should go bobsledding. Trying to not burn Cormont down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can say you're trying. It. You're working on it. You're doing your best. I would say you're darn near trying to burn Cormont down. Yeah, Dude, he's you, just hey. so pumped that you're Oh, here. I know, I know. I'm taking all the you blame too. for everything. Hey, I, from Colorado to Cormont and everything in between, right? Yeah. It's all just going to hell. <laughs> Like, how do we keep it under control now, F? There is no control. Yeah, I mean, he was walking in. He was like, are you sure we're not brothers in some house? I have. <laughs> there might be a bloodline down there, man. I, I, I think we got some of the same trousers. I mean, jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're trying not to burn it down. You two have been a little dynamic duo, like, because you're always sitting next to each other in restaurants, and I have been cackling, laughing at you two, because you two bust each other up, and one of you spits out your food, your drink, <laughs> your van, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of jealousy out of Mike over there. Oh, no, Mike's all it's about like, it. It's like Gavin came to town, and now... It exists. Yeah, and now, and now it's like... He's just been shooed off to the side, and 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 Evan's like, "Hey, Gav, come on, let's let's go, let's go get lunch, just me and you." Hey, <laughs> we're just lucky that you guys already had bunk beds in my room because me and Gav were gonna build some last night. Were you? Gosh, yeah, <laughs> we got the guacamole and the nachos going. I was like, "Ah, oh, we need bunk beds." Oh wait, we got bunk beds. <laughs> Did you sleep on the bunk beds last night just because, like, you know, we got that? Spare well, yeah, room no, we hit, the, yeah, we hit the sauna and stuff, and then yep. Ev, why are you still sleeping in a bunk bed? <laughs> Fuck. Because we've offered, we've offered to get you set up with a freaking queen size, get you a king size bed in that room. So, I mean, most bunk beds people think is just two twin beds, maybe, uh -huh. or something small. This is like a bigger bed. I'm not sure what the next size or two are. A full, full, a full, maybe even a queen. Dude, I don't I mean, think it's a queen. It probably might be not. close. It's a close queen. Close queen. Hey, well, I know I'm a short fella, but I can lay sideways damn near on it. Really? Yeah, so it's pretty good. Okay. The top acts as a shelf. <laughs> what do you like, mean? Like the top bed, I, I throw shit up there. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, your yeah, hats. Right. My, my hats, my, my, my clothes, 
No, not Half much eaten, trash. Hot pockets. Oh yeah, leaf snacks. You know, goldfish. Right. Um, empty tea cans. And then also, I've I've found out I didn't know this that when you're using the lower level bed, <laughs> that the upper level bed is a great point for <laughs> for what um, angling Up? the position of your body. <laughs> When you're ups? when you're aggressively napping with your significant other, oh, <laughs> you know, like, I feel like there would be multiple. That okay, 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 that makes sense. Dude, keep killing the bunk bed life. You, you might, know, you might have had a cheat code. You know, much. like I feel like it'd get in the way a lot though, because you couldn't even go all the, like. So I'm five really, foot five. Never mind. I'd be like, I'd be like constantly. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose maybe it works for you, huh? Yeah, no, it works it's real good. It's all positives. Yeah, no negatives, really. <laughs> Interesting. You, you come over, like, next time you come over to the house, you look in my room, it's just a bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be hilarious. My girlfriend wanted me to buy a sex swing. I purchased a bunk, bunk bed. bed. <laughs> be kind of nice. Like, you get kind of uncomfortable sleeping next to each other. Just one goes up top. You're yeah. still in the same room. That's one step away from two bedrooms in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's still not two bedrooms. Eh, slightly better. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is funny walking into Ev's room and he's just got his bunk bed in there. Ah, it keeps me young. <laughs> there is something keeping you young, Ev, that's for sure. I don't know what it is. So. I think we all need a little bit of what Evan and Gavin have. Whatever I agree. You, whatever you guys got going, man. Honestly, I don't think you guys can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we could either. <laughs> Very few can. It's not for everybody. There's, there's a jam up left and right all the time, but he's there's more ups and downs. Two peas in a pod this saying, weekend, bro. Excuse me, I'm being a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I got something in my mouth. Go- Ziploc bag in my mouth. Man, we got dumb and dumber here. <laughs> They're actually the two smartest. <laughs> Mike is barefoot. He kind of looks like a barbarian. So this is why you guys have to sleep in so long. Oh, this is what you're doing at night. Yeah, I, I love the snorkel, dude. I love <laughs> no. And it's so heavy. This four wheeler weighs like two thousand pounds. Four wheel drift, he says. That's all he says. And I'm like, bro, you're insane. to have thought that this was a bad idea. That thought never crossed my mind at that, that point in so time, believe concerning. it or not. That is so concerning. Well, I mean, nothing got broken. All right, so the first burnout, a weight flies off, I see. I think I thought... And it flew in the right direction. I think I thought, like, oh, the loose weight already came off, so mouth? now we're good. What, what, I don't know. A <laughs> Ziploc bag of some sort. <laughs> uh. Switch views, Whoa. switch views, switch views. No, don't do it yet. The way it's going to come off. Into the shipping oh. container. Oh, man. Dude. So, like, that weight could have hit either of the cars. Could have hit anything. Could have hit anything. Man, Ev, you really just live your life one bad decision at a time. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be lucky. <laughs> you were literally doing a burnout within a foot of my side of my GTR. Oh, like, go to, go Throwing to rocks other, all over go it. Go to the cam- other camera. How oh, the angle. floor was clean. Yeah, I'm sure it was. That's why uh, the Zorb ball got popped. Uh, I do remember <laughs> the next morning, Ben goes, why is there black dust all over my white car? Man, what a... But basically, I just the, couldn't the believe... The fact that this is happening is is extremely bizarre. Wild. Is it not? Yeah. No, I... Yes, like it's the fact bizarre. that he just back on, he's... Cheesing. Um, I don't even have pants on. Dude, we were sitting in Florida with Ryan's dad, Randy, and um, I don't know how it got brought up, but uh, he was like, <laughs> yeah, you know... I, I don't mind. Uh, I love having I love having Mike and and um, Alondra around. But yeah, sometimes I'll come home, and Mike will be parked in my garage stall. <laughs> <laughs> That's very rare. But I've, 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 very I've rare. I guess. <laughs> Why? I don't know. 
you imagine coming home after a long but, day? Oh, of and work, by the way, I don't and make you your daughter's garage, boyfriend you is that, parked in your well, stall. First of all, you, you hit that you garage, you, garage. Hey, first of all, I'd be like, what is going opens on? Opens up and you see Mike's fucking Bro. Bronco sitting in your garage stall. His garage, in your house. His garage door is made of windows. He doesn't need to open it up to find out. All right, Mike. All right, well, he pulls in and he um, sees it. He's yeah, pulling no, up the driveway. I've He's never, pulling up the driveway and he I've sees never it. made an executive decision to be like, this is I'm, my park, spot I'm parking in here today. <laughs> Opens Mike's, up his room to his door and Mike's sleeping. <laughs> Mike, Mike's That'd sleeping in his bed or shitting on his toilet in his room. Disrespectful. I don't know. I feel like it's... I feel like you already crossed the line a little bit parking in his spot. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's a good thing Randy's nice because honestly, I think if I came home and... Let's hypothetically say I had a daughter and her boyfriend parked in my garage spot <laughs> and he was already over. I'd be like, I would literally hop in and, and like move it or I don't even know yeah. what I'd do. It would just be but like. I, th I think if you were that dad and or Randy gave me like a talking to, I'd be like, yeah, like my bad. I, you know, didn't think you'd be home. But the last thing you'd it, expect to have to talk to your daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> hey, you got to quit. Quit parking in my I mean, dude, when he, spot. Yeah, this he's is my like, house, buddy. he's gone more <laughs> than he's, house. he's probably there 40% of his time. So keep that in mind. Let's be realistic here. Still his garage stall. <laughs> yeah, Still man, his garage stall that I was told by someone who lived there that he would not be there. Oh, I know. It's just funny. It's getting, but That's yeah, funny at the end of the day, I, story. I, uh, I feel it. Yeah. If he's just like, come on, <laughs> dude, when it's my garage that, stall. That's going to happen to Mike now when he's older. Ken, would you be interested in doing that, going on The Bachelor? No. What if we did our own version of The Bachelor? We had just, let's say, 15 girls, and we do a speed dating. Like, it's like a, f a quick little... <laughs> like, I'm not talking clapping, obviously. Like, that's kind of the, the noise I made with my mouth there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm talking just like, you know, maybe like a one-minute, like, boom, 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 like conversations, and then at the end of it, you give one girl a rose and and go on a nice date. I could see it. Could be uh, could be a good little bit. That'd be a great bit, and you might find the love of your life. Yeah, we'll ask yeah. your girl from Fargo. She wants to be on. Instead of a rose, she gets your vape. <laughs> <laughs> Evan goes instead of a rose, she hits his vape. No, she gets it. Oh, oh she, she gets? gets the vape. Yeah. Oh, Ken must really like her to give away the vape. I'll cherish this forever. Well, it's only 2,000 puffs. So. <laughs> uh, just something real exciting. So I went to high school at a place called Holly High School. It wasn't anything to write home about. I enjoyed it. But Peak they finally did something cool. Really? Well, they painted a mural of you. This, in my eyes, they did something cool. No, they. Uh, you guys remember the, the dirt bike through the school prank? Yeah. Dude. It's been done. A handful of times, but do you remember just the one? Yeah, you know, the yeah. one, the legendary yeah, it, it, one. Yeah, the, like pink cause, classics. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I looked that one up. Of course, had to rewatch it after I saw this, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is just this is the only one I remember." And then of course I'm looking on YouTube. There's like 20 other ones. So it's been done many other times, but I just got sent a, a nice video from my high school, and they did that as their senior prank, and they're they're facing all the charges you'd think they'd face. Yeah, what see, kind of yeah. charges? He rode a scooter. Well, no. <laughs> hey, I, hey, 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 I gave the buddy on the scooter oh! some credit. Oh, we got a two-stroke, and he's revving it. Oh, he did it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's no like those. Way. Yeah, that's where I went to high school, and I was so proud. The two-stroke homie, I was so proud. They Holy frick! How'd they not get stopped, dude? I don't know. Well, man, we. Should Oh, could have got a steady cam on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody could have been on a one wheel following him or something. But uh yeah, the scooter was, you know, the scooter was that. But yo, there's a GoPro footage of, of the actual rider and and he comes out of the school. <laughs> Wait, you are you talking about this guy? Yeah, this oh. guy. And he comes out of the school and he's he like grabs second and he almost hits a car. <gasps> Holy shit. But oh, then man. I guess they, they loaded up and they got caught in the parking lot. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. what yeah. happened? I think they got pretty jammed up. Like basically, you know, like they didn't in a do anything that bad. That's what's interesting. In a situation like this, the adults, you know, the principal, the the vice principal, whoever else is in charge, they're like, We have to do something. Right, because they could have hurt have someone. To that's discipline. The thing. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, so, you can't just ride a dirt bike through the school. I agree. <laughs> so, he wasn't doing hey, wheelies or really the being record, that reckless. For but the record, I agree. So they, they got ISS, which is in-school suspension. Okay. 
I've uh, tagged that a couple times. <laughs> not not crazy. No, you just sit oh, in. Oh, they it. didn't get the cops involved. That's good then. That's yeah. what I. I'd so, say that's a fair. So deal. they threatened to. But then of I was course. like, that's, yeah, they threatened to. They're like, wow, we got to get the cops involved. And then it, it kind of pushed away from that, like it should. Yeah. And they got in trouble. You know, okay. They got and, ISS, and he they couldn't got, walk. He couldn't walk. That's right. Graduation. Oh. And then anyone else Stuff involved, like, that. like holding yeah. the doors, Damn. couldn't walk, I think. That's yeah. kind of messed up because that doesn't punish the kid. It it's only parents. punished the parents. The parents are the only person that cares about the kid walking. I never gave a shit. Yeah. But my parents wanted yeah. to see me walk. So yeah, that's, that's a, good point. a little messed up because I know that's a standard punishment. But what do you do? So that was for the senior prank? I mean, really, that's why. Yeah, I get, yeah, that's okay. what they called it. We drove a golf it's cart. It's not that good of a mine. prank. It's not really a prank. That's just well, like doing a stunt to me. Either way, proud of them. Okay, but yeah, cool. it, it is funny calling it like, that's our senior prank. Let's just talk about what, what happened today. <laughs> let's just get <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, just let's, get it out of the way. Please. Right away. <laughs> we're just going to dive right in. out of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we've been riding for the past three days, and it's been really insane. Like, deep snow, uh, insane mountains steepness pretty much the gnarliest of the gnarly you can get into on on snowmobiles right so we're in the basically the most flat level parking lot the easiest thing we have done the entire trip right i go <laughs> hey brett can i borrow your snowmobile to take a thumbnail picture and he goes yeah buddy of course just be careful though the throttle has a little bit of ice in it, so it might stick. So just in case, wear this tether around your wrist. And I was like, okay, all right, well, it should be fine. I'm literally just pulling it like three feet uh, on flatness. Flat He's driving right? around like I the shouldn't have lot. much to worry about here, right? And uh, so sure enough, I hop on it and pulling it around. And I'm like, oh, shit, it, it, I can feel a little bit of stickiness in this throttle, right? And then there was like a little <laughs> mound because I was trying to get up next to this uh, measuring stick because I thought it looked good in the thumbnail, right? And to get up this mound, I give it a little <laughs> bit more pepper. Throttle sticks. Wide open. Wide, wide open, open on an 850 boost. The thing pretty much rockets out from underneath me. <laughs> it plows over this like landmark of, <laughs> of, a, of a snow depth meter. Right. Any snowmobiler in North America has looked at that camera and said, like, how much snow is in Revelstoke? Yeah. <laughs> Plows through this this six inch tree that the that the measuring stick is bolted to. Breaks Keep in mind this tree. ring is fifteen feet tall and it's buried about like eight feet. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Breaks the tree clean in half. And then the sled, luckily I had the tether on my wrist. The sled then dies after, but it would, it had gotten so much speed. It, no, it was man. fully airborne. It was, it was fully, fully airborne. airborne. I have like the perfect mental image in my brain right now. <laughs> like I'm waiting for Elon to just like pull my SD card so we can put that into the computer. Dude, so <laughs> Dude, seriously, we need Honestly, that. yeah, we need that. We need that. So yeah, we have Mike. Mike is over there taking photos because we weren't planning on Big anything bummer. I'm pointing nuts a, happening. I'm pointing a camera right at you. As this all happened, like pointing <laughs> it at the scene with a wide angle, it would have got it all. But I'm in photo mode. Oh, yeah, and, and big I, bummer. Yeah, so uh, my jaw's bummer. never been lower on the floor than seeing uh. you do that today. <laughs> so I do that. Uh, the snowmobile rockets out, hits the hits the pole, snaps it in half. Um, I I'm then laying on the ground in sheer disbelief of what just happened. And the first thing I do is like check my body, like. I'm good. I didn't get uh, <laughs> hit by the tree coming down or hit a tree in the process. Luckily, I kind of bailed early. Dude, um, you were white as a ghost. Oh well, yeah, I was. I was like so extremely was rattled. Like Casper. One, I was. I was worried about uh, Brett's sled. It's like a thirty thousand dollars snowmobile, and <laughs> and I just launched it into a tree. Specifically built, and also what brand new this week? Yeah, I mean it's like not even out of break-in <laughs> mode yet. Yeah, I'm still continually putting parts on it. <laughs> which we put on a new bumper last, last night, night, which is good timing. But uh, I, I'm like, the, the snowmobile, and then I'm like, oh, my God, what the fuck did I just hit? I'm like looking over, and I see <laughs> Dude, two even... pieces of yellow laying in. I'm like, oh, I just plowed through that meter stick. And then I look up, and there's like 40 people in the parking lot. <laughs> Dude, there's people just like staring at piling me. out of the cabin. Yeah, yeah, and then people start coming out of this cabin. So I guess to give a little reference, this cabin in British Columbia is like, 
one of the most legendary spots to the go Boulder to. Cabin. Like everyone knows what the Boulder yeah. Cabin is if they've ridden in the area or like you said, checked the webcam because there's a webcam on top of the cabin that points at this metering stick that is <laughs> live 24 hours a day. So at any point you can check, hey, did they get snow? I mean, look at the metering <laughs> stick. Boom. Hey, did Ben hit why the is it? <laughs> why, why is the metering stick all of a sudden four feet smaller? Did we get four feet of snow or what happened? So I'm just figuring out what happened. I'm like, oh my God, this is insane, right? And <laughs> and I'm like, Mike, turn that fucking camera on, bro, because Mike was just taking pictures. I was like, record, record. <laughs> and Mike turns it on. I'm like trying to figure out like still what's going on. Turkey comes up and he's like, you good, my sled? You good? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm like looking around and then pretty soon I just see a flock, a swarm, a flock of people moving in and nobody like, was like smiling. There was a guy that was like, huh, nice move, guys, idiots. And I looked at him and I was like, pardon? Was like my $30,000 snowmobile just ghost rode into that thing. Like you think that this was real. There would be cameras rolling everywhere. And for one, am I going to loan you my brand new players boost to just go kamikaze it through a six inch tree like and, and, pretty and cool. also why pretty cool the, if you did the tree <laughs> yeah. of all of them and so i like looked at this guy and i was like do you not realize the like severity of the situation here well he's like well wrong. man like somebody's got to come up here and fix this thing i was like we got it i have to go over there and make sure my buddy's alive like it looks like all of the blood left his face and went to his feet like <laughs> uh, laying on the ground and still. so that guy was just like he was so buttered because i mean jokingly so like he was probably going to wonder how much snow we got tonight because it's snowing right now. <laughs> so he's like, he's going to be, sure he's gonna be like so put off by the fact that the stick is like four feet lower Dude, now. Dude, people are going to look at the camera and go, holy shit, there's 13 feet of snow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the best a- part is everyone that was outside was like hyped on it. Or whatever, you know, to <laughs> an extent. Really? They, no, I mean, like most of them that came up were like, oh, it was crazy. And then everyone that went into the cabin we're like, they didn't want to Man, see it. They screwed and then ben up. Was like, thought that it was just like Ben some... was like, I'm not going into the cabin. I don't want to. And I was like, I think that's where the crowd was a little <laughs> upset. Is. A good idea. And so I went in there and then some guy's like, yeah, Turcotte's always bringing all his amateur buddies around. And <laughs> oh, that's really even funny. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I like heard it from across and I was like, in that situation, it's really funny because we're the amateur <laughs> buddies. But it was, I, I thought it was also pretty funny that there was people like coming up and they were like, hey, yeah, we're subs and everything. I was like, man, these people got to think that we're just so fucking stupid. Yeah. But- <laughs> <laughs> you like, know what, dude? You like, like- they got to be like, damn, these kids are like always just doing this, huh? <laughs> like, yeah, they're but just, you guys they, are going to be able to back fake. it up. It's yeah. not fake. They're not putting on a on a show. Uh, they really like, are acting. That like, they are this stupid, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was it, it was just probably came off like refreshing for them to know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, but you know what, dude? The video's that. gonna come out, and it's like you guys were shredding, and where we were today <laughs> was like you did a sick drop. Evan did like a half a backflip off a drop. Spencer hit a drop on his snow yeah. Like no, it did. The you, day did start. You guys are like yeah, lack of skill. Good. That was just like. Man, some things are just meant to happen, and that was like camera was off, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> just the I mean, it's just like it is what it is. The people are talking about you, you know. Yeah, like I guess the hype is that? Yeah, you know they say uh, no publicity is bad publicity. No, nope. bad. <laughs> huh? No, bad I don't publicity try. is better than no publicity. Oh, is that what they said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds royally, to royally dick. I knew it sounded like that. It feels bet. good to be home. Though. I was over at the pub yeah. earlier today, and like people were like, "Hey." Where you been? <laughs> really? Yeah, everyone was wondering. Well, because you went, you went sober, right? For I went sober for a month because <laughs> I was on the road. Yep, yep. Uh, you you quit drinking at home, exactly, because we were on the road. <laughs> exactly. Go CJ CJ right. keeps telling us like, yeah, ever since I quit drinking, and I'm like, you didn't quit drinking. <laughs> and he's like, well, at home. <laughs> But he left. It's a pretty, he was gone for the last right month. There. You're cutting it in half. That's I'm just, damn near quitting. Backstory. Evan is like extremely easy to spook, almost to a point where even when you're not trying to spook him, you do. Like you're just walking up to tell him something, and he kind of jolts and goes, whoa. And Ben has found that weakness in him, and now our Snapchat story at least once a week has us spooking Evan when he's working on something. Who? <laughs> That was a good one, man. <laughs> that one I kind of saw you sneaking up. I just flinched. <laughs>
I think it's my cat like reflexes. Like <laughs> if you for something to happen. We're an attacker instead of a pranker, I'm like ready to go. But then when I see it's Ben, I just stop. So he thinks I flinched, but I'm really ready to attack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Name a Taylor Swift album. Uh nineteen eighty nine. Nice. Red. Nice. nice. Evermore. Okay. Yep. Holy wow. shit. Okay. I don't even I'm impressed already. Fearless. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Kind of. All right, Swifty. All right. Yeah, you Maybe. proved me wrong there. Honestly, you proved me I wrong. I legit knew none of those. I would have not been able to say any of them. That, that was pretty good, Ken. I'm, I'm dry past no, that. No, honestly, yeah. honestly. You, but the ladies aren't, buddy. You earned it on that one. Yeah. So speaking of football players and boats, do you guys remember the Vikings love boat yeah. scandal? Yeah. yeah. Can you yeah. imagine yeah. being I, on that boat? No. What? I mean, I I can't imagine myself, but yeah, well, they just got I caught. I'm pretty sure they do that. Some people, they just got caught. You know, they, I love that. They, that that stuff goes down every weekend on the lake like that. They just got caught. Yeah, let me see this. Pull up the article. It's, or I want to see the story. Classic oh. little jam up. That's freaking <laughs> nothing that won't buff on. Have. It was back in 2005 when football was football, and there was no rough in the passer, you know, and stuff like um, that. On October 6, 2005, an alleged sex party. Occurred on Lake Minnetonka. Unbelievable. Dante Culpepper. But yeah, uh, they apparently like rented two boats and uh, they just flew in prostitutes from Atlanta and Florida. Actual and prostitutes or were they just girls? Uh, They're from Atlanta. They, they, it was said that they were sex workers. One guy estimated there was 100 women there. Wow. women for 17 football players? Two boats? Pretty decent numbers, honestly. That's a, that's a pretty, good, uh, pretty good ratio. An Did anonymous I, former player of the Minnesota Vikings claimed that this is not the first time that such an incident has oh, yeah. happened. The scandal has sometimes been referred to as the Love the Boat, boat scandal. scandal. Like, wow. it's nice to see that the Vikings can at least catch the news every once they in a while. Can't catch a fucking something. pass. Yeah, I can't <laughs> catch a fucking pass. But uh, it, it, they got in trouble for peeing in some lady's yard. Apparently, yeah, I was wondering. That's Wait, fine. so how big of a boat you got to have? I believe they were on two boats. And they didn't think anyone was going to notice they're on the lake? They were houseboats. Maybe they were behind closed doors. They two, house, two houseboats were rented and some, but not all of the players performed sexual acts. How did they know that? In front oh, of, oh. Of, the, of the crew members. Of they the were probably oh, so they had man. rental drivers. Not all of them, <laughs> not, but some of them did. <laughs> some of them did. Not all of them, but some of them did. I don't know what's worse in that scenario, being the watcher or being the guy. I feel like it's being the watcher. Unless you went to a different part of the boat and removed yourself from the debauchery. Well, it sounds looks. like you're a worker, man. You can't go anywhere. You're trying to drive Imagine the boat. Imagine piloting, piloting a boat with a hundred whores running around. <laughs> and what are you doing? Banging the Minnesota <laughs> Vikings. Put that bitch on cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> Evan wakes me up in the hallway uh, <laughs> shortly, like, not far from my room, but like, why am I in the hallway, man? Come on. You're on yeah. the right floor, but the wrong side of the Yeah, the yeah, hotel. yeah. Like, I, I didn't make it to the room. And Did I was you have like, a room key? I was, yeah, I had a room key in my wallet. So you literally just were like, yeah, brain was like, like what? Floor. Yeah, and then that's you the worst part. You just went to bed there? Did you I'm trip? Like, Did you? <laughs> yeah. I'd like, like to imagine that I tripped. <laughs> and then just stayed down? <laughs> yeah, no, that like. That's the thing. It's like, why was I like, yeah, I can't do her. Just, gotta just hit the bed. going to bed. So anyway, here. he wakes me up and he was like, what are you doing, man? And then you hit the room. Thank God. All went, all went well. Hit the bed. All was well. And then, but like, I'm only telling this story under one condition. Like you can't play the video. Yeah. It's really embarrassing. No, that's fair. But uh, <laughs> I don't think we can is, show the yeah, video because yeah. you wieners in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but basically middle of the night. Ken wakes up to the sound of a heavy stream, and he's like... It, it sounded like there was a water leak somewhere yeah, in the room. He, you know, he's kind of like, what the... It's pitch dark in yeah, there. Light, the, lights are off, blinds are closed. Starts recording before the lights are on, flicks the lights on. It's your worst nightmare. I'm just pissing on the floor. But not at, not just any way. You were like, yeah. you were like doing what... Hands were on the bed. The old tripod. No, yeah, you're tripoding with my head. The old right. tripod. You, it's probably because you had a boner or something. Like, I think I had yeah, a little... You were trying to aim tripod. it down. I think I had a, like a little morning wood. And uh, yeah, but it, the worst part was it was just a lot. It was like the full... It was a full... No, you, but the uh, best capacity. part... The funny, best, Oh, yeah, the best yeah, part. The funniest thing part. was you said, it's okay. Ryan said he'd take care of it. Man. But no, it was, it was like less friendly because Ken goes... Micah, what are you doing? doing? And then I kind of like 
look back at him with angry eyes. Not much anger in my voice, but you I get like, mad at him I for go, telling you to stop pissing on the floor. Almost I thought Ryan was taking care of it. <laughs> Why did I say that? Because you two are getting so close. Yeah, but I, I don't mean, know. Do you typically pe- clean up? Yeah, no. like, does he? No, ty- do but not. that's the thing. Does he typically <laughs> clean up anything that I do? No, in a sense, like not really. And I was just like, I thought Ryan was taking care of it. So then, whenever. Uh, let's say Jason over here getting getting a real kick out of the story. I go, you should have seen the look on Ryan um, on my face when I found out Ryan wasn't taking care of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, yeah, luckily the next day was our like last day there. But like, I did my best to clean it up. Stinky. Did you? Yeah. I What'd mean, you do yeah. like put towels on it and like put water on it. That's about it. Honestly, that's really the it. least of Vegas hotels. I'm sure I really that, that, that was times. the worst part. I was doing it more for a courtesy of us being in the room. Yeah, <laughs> I did not want it to smell. That's so embarrassing. I got to give Ken credit. He was like freaking Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Unbelievable. <out there>. Unbelievable. <laughs> Here's the stream in his sleep, wakes up before he's even turned on the light, is recording, yeah. and then reaches over, turns on the light, and perfectly gets Micah in frame peeing. Gives good commentary. Michael, what are you doing? Probably because you were shocked. And keeps the phone right there on him the whole time. The only thing I'm mad about is I didn't record longer because he had a few (laughs) other lines. That was just complete nonsense. (laughs) Yeah, you should have had him all the way until he fell asleep. I thought you were going to say, yeah, honestly, true. I thought you were going to say, I'm mad that I didn't record him longer because he just kept peeing. (laughs) Ken was amazing. What'd you do? Go back to sleep? Yeah, I was like, fuck it. It's 5 a.m. I'm going back to bed. (laughs) What'd you do then, Mike? I don't know. He, he then I don't plopped a shit over on the other <laughs> <laughs> He no. plopped face first on the bed, with like halfway halfway yeah. down it, and then just fell asleep. <laughs> Do you even remember doing that? No. Like, are you, not so you were all. an autopilot. Yeah. Damn. I think it'd be really cool to show like your kid growing up. But I don't know if I'd want on that camera. on the internet and on yeah. camera for those reasons. Yeah, and I also know, up. I also know like the mentality that we get into to make YouTube videos, and I would not want to bring my family into that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I wouldn't. You're pranking true. your son. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, there yeah, was a like, channel that got in trouble for yeah. that shit. I can't remember what it was, but it they was were like, like it was like child abuse basically because wow. they were pulling pranks and shit on them for <laughs> videos, and it was just like I, I don't exactly know too much but it can get very nasty with like the children youtube but that's a good point like the sometimes sometimes extremely stressful mindset that it takes I, to get ourselves moving and I shape agree. something up and putting your kids and through like, that or your also, wife also it's like you say like what i said like yeah, I mean, I just keep it cut and dry, simple. It is what it is. Yeah, and then right. next thing I know, it's like next video. Views, views start dipping. I'm like, we got to do something big. I got the family in front of me. What, what can we do to step this up? All right, Jimmy, shoot some, <laughs> shoot some ideas. You need to break your leg during this basketball and game. he's like, God <laughs> damn it, Jimmy. You're bringing nothing to the table. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's like, I'm free. I, I don't have, Um, we could build Legos. And you're like, that's it? Legos? <laughs> we did that last week. <laughs> what will we title it, though? <laughs> what, Jimmy Bills Legos Part 3? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck, Jimmy. Yeah, I don't know. I'd still be down to do it, though. Yeah. We'd have to, I'd have to check it out. Could be. It <laughs> could be fun. Don't or it could be a, a lot of work and jeopardize your whole family. That too. That, uh, it's that one of those gambles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, if I was a gambling man, which I <laughs> am. <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of believe in like the hypnotized thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe like I guess I think it I think it is kind of happening, but uh like Rob Deerdick, he went to a hypnotist and got hypnotized for success. Really? At like a young age, yeah. What? Yeah, and he talks about it all the time. And I was thinking about going and seeing that guy. Hypnotized for success? Yeah, he got hypnotized for success. Like so, how, what? Like what does that look like? I don't know. He just like does some thing and and just I think tries to change your mindset or like he basically just programs you for success supposedly. I, and who knows if it works or not? But I mean, you're he, definitely taking a good step in the right direction getting hypnotized for success. I'd do it if it was convenient. I think he's based out of L.A. I think when he when the hypnotist that was here, Freddie. He was talking about like everyone's been hypnotized, whether you know it or not. But let's say you drive home and driving at night, you pull into your driveway and you're like, holy crap. I do that <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I, 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 don't. I, I think I just blacked out for, for the last 20 minutes. I don't even remember driving. Right. 
And he was like, well, that's, that's, you're technically in kind of a trance. You're hypnotized in a way, but mostly like your subconscious, it just takes over. Mm -hmm. So I wonder when you're saying that, when you get hypnotized for success, you're just like, you're just telling your subconscious, like you will be successful. You will be successful. Mm -hmm. And your subconscious, like your deep down soul is hypnotized, but you come out of it and you're just like, Nice. I was hypnotized for success. I believe in it now. Exactly. I believe that I'm hey, going to be successful. Got the attitude and it probably the moment, didn't yeah. really change much besides for the fact of like somebody just told you and you were like, nice, I trust them and now I'm good. <laughs> Dude, it almost, you could sum it down to, it didn't change a thing but your attitude and your outlook on something. Which after having Gavin here, holy shit, I, CJ and I have said it to each other, but we're like, we're going to try to be more like Gavin yeah. and not be more... I don't want to copy him. Because he's incredibly him. unique, and you can't be like him. But just his his good attitude and like the energy he brings to people, and like yeah, he's a positive person he's, to have around, and he's nice to everyone, and he has like no ego. I don't know. I just liked a lot of his a uh, lot of traits, and I think if if everyone could adapt a a little bit of his traits, whether it's you know, being nice to people, having a positive attitude, liking three wheelers, the world, <laughs> the world would be a better place. I think so too. When we were working on the three wheelers and like everything was going wrong, I remember uh, uh, Gavin was sitting there and, and uh, our mechanic buddy was like, well, here's the issues and this and that. And just like basically just saying like how much of a pain in the ass it was going to be. And Gavin was like, ha, yep, 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 this is going to be fun. This, this is gonna, gonna be fun, fun. and I look he up goes, at yeah, him. This is gonna be and a fun I'm like, one. What do you like? Like what? What's gonna be a fun what one? He goes, making this work, baby. This yeah. is gonna be a that's task. I mean. And I was like, damn, that kind of fired Dude. me up right there, Gav. That's what I mean. I need that's to hear so that. Good. No, I have no, no idea. Dude, you guys, you can like jelly I've beans. Seen, I've seen them because of does the Easter yeah, Bunny bring those? What's that? The Easter Bunny? I don't believe in the Easter Bunny. You don't? No. What? Yeah, man. Who brings you your eggs? Man, ever since I stopped getting chocolate eggs, I just stopped believing. What about Santa? No, I still believe in him. I okay. get presents. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> hey, you're close. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, I'm trying to picture what that would be like of you and her like getting divorced, and then you find out that your brother is married to like getting. Yeah, were you mad hitching up no, with her? No, but, like, but I've I, already asked you this before. I, but no, but I did hear something this morning. Or, yeah, or last, this morning, I think, when I talked to my niece, she you should visit with her sometime. She'd clue you in a lot of stuff. She said her mom just died here a couple months ago, and she said one of the things my mom always told me is she remembers you talking to me is when Ken, my brother, married my wife. I said, what in the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, her mother is 92, and she could still remember the day I said that. Which was a good point at the time. And then after he married her, I would say, well, I'm glad he's married to her instead of me. So that was... That was that. Hey, yeah, that's what he always would say. <laughs> I was just happy that he always, was married to her instead of me. They'd always ask me, you know, what's that like? I mean, seeing your brother with, you know, you're fine with me. I mean, at least it's not me. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah. So I didn't want to buy a Suron from like a dealer. They're like forty five hundred bucks, you know. They get them shipped over from China, but probably a bunch of them. And I didn't want to spend that much, so I was like, I'll just go on Alibaba, which I'm somewhat familiar with. And I there's a whole bunch of vendors, and I picked one, and I was like, I just want to buy one. And then if the one is good, comes to my door and it checks out and it's real, then I'll buy like five or six more for the whole crew. So they're advertising them as real Surons, not an Alibaba version of a Suron, like right. not a knockoff. They're advertising as real. Yep. Yeah. And I had made that very clear in the, in the messages. I was like, I just making sure this is real. I want it to be <laughs> real. Cause I've heard of people getting not real ones and nobody wants to pay half price for a not real one. Yeah. So I got it going and I like tried to have all my checks and just made sure it was real, made sure the battery was authentic Panasonic. And then why they said two grand for the bike, 500 for shipping Shipping is 10 days. Oh, man, 10 days. That's awesome. Perfect. Wire them the money. They ship it. Okay, cool. And then after about a month, I'm like, hey. And they're like, you got to check with the shipping company. It's in customs in Mexico. Mexico you now? So want, it went from? Like, it went from China to Mexico. I'm like, why didn't it just go to a port in the United States? So you don't want your stuff to be in customs in Mexico because <laughs> they can do whatever they want. And so that's kind of where it started. I was like, well, why is this not shipping? And they're like, 
you need to pay customs. Okay, that makes sense. So I hit them up and they're like, yeah, here's, and it's like fee, 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 charge, charge, please, charge, please. charge, charge to 990 bucks to clear it from customs. 990? Oh, shit, man. Okay. I just paid 500 bucks to ship this thing on top of the two grand. So I'm already 3,500 in if I decide to pay this. I'm just still trying to feel this out. Okay, you can cash app or Venmo. And well, so now they're taking you out of like no, a legit form No, I could have still of- wired it if I wanted. But, but I didn't even wanna... so, it's not through Alibaba or anything like no, that. No, this is this to is... the shipping company now. And oh. so, I still toyed with the idea for a while and messaged the vendor back and forth. I'm just like, oh, I think if I just pay this customs charge, they'll send it. And then I paid this Venmo to just like a random dude. And, and <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, okay. they, then they were like, sweet, send the receipt. I did. And then they were like, cool. Now... Do you want to pay the customs charge for the other 10? <laughs> You're like, other 10? And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, 9,900 for the other 10. There's 11 total in the shipment. And I'm like, what? I ordered one. I ordered one. Can you just ship it? No, this shipment has 11. So if you want to pay customs for the rest, then we'll ship it. But 11. when they say, do you want to, it, could you just be like, no, I just want my one bike? Then that's what I said. And then they were like, okay, well, the shipment's 11. So, so, so you have still to. Still back They're and trying. forth with them on that. And then I'm like, why, the, why is there 11? 11 Surons? I wanted one. So I go to the vendor and I'm just like, hey, why there? Why is there 11? And they're like, oh, well, we normally don't just ship one. We normally, like I could read the messages, but essentially what they said, we don't normally just ship one. We usually ship 11. What? Okay. To who though? And that's what I'm like. Because yeah, who well, do like, they ship the eleven one. to? Yeah, they're like, we usually only do bulk shipments. You sure you're not getting hustled? No, I'm not sure at all. That's, <laughs> okay. that's the whole point of this. All right. So if you pay the the shipping, then for the other ten, do you get them for free? Probably. Do they not, ship? Do, bro. Are they shipping eleven to you then? Well, or are you just it, yeah. are you just releasing right? That's the I, one, and then they're like, "Sweet, thanks for paying for all of them." You lost me at, at Venmoing for the customs. That shit ain't coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's where I usually. I don't know if that's so, a yeah. normal. No, you're I, in, is you're that in, normal, Ken. Like when you're Venmoing for no. customs, you, yeah, that shit ain't coming. That's dude. what I mean. They gave me like their <laughs> wire information, but I didn't didn't want to call my bank and start a whole wire. And since it was under a thousand dollars, I just did it on Venmo. But, but yes, who was that, the wire? Can you Venmo? Like, what, was it the shipping company or was it like I've I've made cus, uh, customs payment for us when we have stuff come across, and it will be like to United States Customs. Like it, it's a payment to them. Yeah, it's not even going. Not that. Okay, so it's it's a payment to Joe Schmo. Yeah, pretty much. So you've been pretty, Pedro in Mexico and and nothing's happening. Okay, so you you wire you Venmo the mob basically. Yeah, and that's so that is where I lose most people with it because that is where I <laughs> fucked up. However, then that's why it got juicier. So it could just be like, yeah, I got scammed. I literally like so stupid. Like I'm not getting my bike. But then they interject this 11. And so I asked the shipping company to send me a picture of it. And they're like, normally we don't send pictures of our shipment. But they sent me some grainy ass picture of a bunch of Suron boxes. That's it. That's all I got. I asked for more. That's all I got. So I'm like, okay, if I release this, will they all be shipped to my house? And they're like, yeah, it's like, this is your shipment. Okay. And then I was like, well, if these end up at my house or at the shop, they're mine. But I still can't take a risk on they, they. came up with like $7,500 to release it all. I'm not going to take that risk. However, How? then the vendor says, pay the customs charges. The bikes will get to you. And then we'll negotiate a price, a discounted price for the bikes. And what? I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, yeah. nego- I'd be like, yeah, the negotiation is now they are mine. Yeah. You sent them <laughs> yeah, to yeah. Me. No kidding. That'd be us. That'd be like us sending somebody five shirts. And then as soon as they get them being like, sweet, you can pay for the other four then. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And it's whack. exactly like that. And then they'd be like, well, I just ordered the one. And then we're like, well, you probably order more later though. So what? you paid for the shipping on all of them. That yeah. makes like no sense. So I don't know anything. Really. I am. I don't are know. Are you paying for this with your own money or the company money? You take a guess. Company money? No. Thank God. You guessed wrong. <laughs> Mike, let me see the Venmo. I want to I wanna see what it's that... It's pretty funny. It, yeah, so dude. your transactions, the first transaction, was that made through Alibaba? That was a wire transfer. I have all the receipts, but if it's not through Alibaba, if the invoice is not paid through Alibaba, 
which they, they usually try it. not to do. It's not protected. Yeah. That's why like people always try to get me into WhatsApp and yep. all this other stuff, but then you're not protected. So there is a slight little bit of protection doing it through the app. Oh my gosh. His oh. name's Jason Lawrence and it's just a big Mexican dude <laughs> in a tuxedo. No, at least he's wearing a tuxedo. He's got class. And my, I love that picture. Looks like he's like, okay, Jason. Wait, Mike, why did you Venmo him? And say, who the hell is Jason Lawrence? <laughs> that was my memo. I just said, who the hell is Jason Lawrence? All right, so Jason Lawrence, who received the Venmo for $990 from Micah. Here are his last Venmo oh, transactions. Uh, Cindy Lawrence paid him for breakfast I even, this on, Octo- <laughs> on October 9th. Okay. Cindy Lawrence paid him for prescription meds on September 30th. <laughs> Cindy Lawrence also paid him September 28th for groceries. You ain't getting that money back. Car not, tags, new kitty supplies, pet supplies and food, dinner, Disney chores, chores, chores. I'm sure he. I'm sure his Venmo is <laughs> hooked up like with he, customs, though. Yeah, he fucking asks Siri and goes, what do people <laughs> yeah. do on Venmo? Dude, I think. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely not getting the money back, but, like, I guess at the end of the day, it's still up to the shipping company because they took. There the, is they, no shipping company. It's Jason Lawrence, who is a fucking man. idiot. He got scammed. Hold J- up, Mike. Jason- Who did you pay the original two thousand dollars to? To Hearsale dot Inc., which is the vendor of the Siron. Okay, Hearsale dot Inc. They all have weird names, so that's yeah. fine. Yo, we should get Coffeezilla involved what? in this one. <laughs> have we ever had any of our shipments be held in customs in Mexico? No, they always go direct to the U.S. Right, right? that's because, what I thought. And when you get the message, it's like. It is stamped like U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. Like it's a legit document that you fill in all the stuff from the company there, your company here. Like it's a pretty legit transaction. Uh, my concern, I mean, I feel bad that you lost the nine hundred bucks to Jason Lawrence, but I <laughs> hope that you can get the twenty five hundred that you paid to Here Sale Inc. back. I hope there's enough, you know, data there that you're able to retract that wire yeah at this point that would be great because i mean otherwise that's a that's a thirty five hundred dollar thing that's a sauron so mike what did jason lawrence say to convince you to just venmo him a thousand bucks i have actually never spoken with jason lawrence what was the the transaction or what was like the communication between you and somebody that was like yes you just venmo jason lawrence 990 bucks Uh, and and he will handle it he'll take care of it it was basically me just asking if I can pay uh, through Venmo because they, they said Cash App. I'm like, well, I don't use, no one uses Cash App. Dude, you know they were sitting in some they little. They were stoked. They were sitting somewhere and they go, this guy's dumber than we thought. And they high fived. <laughs> yes. Quick, go make a Venmo. I'll be Cindy. You be uh, whatever, the other guy. I don't think it matters whether it is real Venmo or not. <laughs> That's what I mean. It is. So I, I did just look. It is impossible to cancel or retract a wire fund once the funds have left your account. Oh, yeah. I was like, I already knew that. Like, that's pretty cut and dry information. Well, Mike, if it makes you feel any better, I lost 2500 bucks in Vegas, and you lost just a little bit more than that on a Saron. Yeah. So life kicks you in the nuts sometimes. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm 0 for 1 on Facebook Marketplace purchases this week. Ken, if so. we drive all the way to cities and someone's a no-show, I'm going to have a Freaking! I might stroke. have to walk back. I have a stroke. Ken, I'm very surprised that you would drive somewhere if they hadn't responded. I, and I, bring Evan. <laughs> so, so well, the dude it? was a, a foreigner, and he was responding pretty quickly. Mm. And I just assumed, like, hey, I said, hey, can I meet you tonight? And he said, yeah. And then I said, okay, can I meet you at this time? And I was like, okay, I'm just going to save time, leave now. I'll get the address while we're on the way. And it'll be good. So I, like, I want to bring Evan with because this dude looks a little sketch. Oh, so you needed a bodyguard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you thought Evan was going to be able to handle him? Well, he's got the hog. He's pretty big. So <laughs> what? He's going to hit him with his dick? Helicopter? <laughs> get, away, get away! Get <laughs> away! Yeah. It's like nunchucks. This foreigner wanted sexual favors. <laughs> <laughs> needed to make sure he was satisfied. <laughs> but never showed. Waste of time. My parents were gone, so I'd snuck out. I believe Micah and I were hanging out. And uh, it, like, ended up ice storming. You know, when it rains in the winter, it gets really icy. 
And uh, I was driving home at like 3.30 a.m. And uh, it was so icy, I couldn't make it up the turn to my, like, turn left. You know, you kind of have to go up a little bank. So I was sitting on the side of the road, like, kind of trying to figure out what to do, how to get up to my corner or uh, make my turn. Where were you in? TC? In my TC. Oh, that, way. Thing, that thing could barely drive on dry roads. Exactly. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there and I see these headlights coming up behind me and I go, okay, I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm going to wait it out. So, you know, he goes by me and it's, everything's good. Buddy comes by me. Obviously, same thing happens. Tail end of this Duramax slides down and side swipes me right in the side of the road. And then the guy just floors it and takes off. He's probably all hand bony leaving the roadhouse. Yeah, like 3.30. So he he was, we figured 3:30 out. 3.30 in the morning? 3.30 in the morning. I was just a young, dumb I remember kid, this you know, now. Yeah, late. you sent pictures, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my God, I just got hit. Couldn't chase him down because my car wouldn't hardly move, you know. Yeah. So anyway, we're just like, oh man, what are we going to do? You know, I call my parents. They're pissed because I snuck out. Like this whole ordeal. And I kind of remembered. I was like, all right, it was a white truck with like a uh, black toolbox in the back you know there's like 17 people that live around here so i go drive by the roadhouse the next morning there he is 11 a.m sitting at the roadhouse big scratch down the side of his truck was he working or drinking drinking wow well he hold on maybe maybe he brought his truck back there in case the little rat that he hit the night before was gonna come <laughs> And claim that he was on the road and he was going to say, no, nope, my truck never left the parking lot. Well, maybe he uh, could have been smarter and like uh, talked his way out of it. But anyway, we brought it up and he was like drunk. And so the guy admitted, he was like, yeah, I don't remember driving home last night. I hit you. Oh, no shit. Worst part is it was his buddy's truck. Mm. His buddy was working in the oil fields and he went, I'm going to look cool for this chick that he was taking out. So he borrowed his buddy's truck without asking. Oh my God. Banged it all up. Had to pay for my new door. Oh, so, so he just what paid it cash or? Yeah, we he ended up being like, you know, this Let's is a bad, bad situation. So we worked it Does out for him. Does he still live around here? Uh, I guess I don't know what he drives now. But you, who is it? I'd like to maybe I tell me I, off camera. You don't I don't know. Yourself? I literally don't know his name. Oh, I was okay. pretty young. It wasn't the guy that came to our shop and did the burnout. Uh, Dr. Phil? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was Dr. Phil. Could have been his friend, though. Could have been. Because it was like a similar truck to that, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, anyway. Man, I bet you were rattled. So I can say I've gotten hit by a drunk driver. I was super rattled. Dude, getting sideswiped and then they dip. Take off. Because I was sitting, like I saw the headlights and then I kind of just like went down on my phone and wasn't paying attention. And then all of a sudden it was like, Jeez, crash Louise. noises. Yeah. Tom Brady kisses his kids though. And that's always rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> Why? Because you wish. Like on the lips? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like the forehead or the cheek yeah, side. Like, yeah, not on the lips. Like that's, a little hug. That's, that's yeah. fine. But like, uh, come here, son. You don't lay in a fat yeah. one on him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that ain't it. No. There's like they he took a really weird like picture. What are you what are you thinking <laughs> of right now? I don't even want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> they took a they, he took like a uh Instagram story and it was like his son was sitting on his lap, but they were like straddling. Like how like you and Nikki would straddle at the beach. Like you're sitting behind her and she's sitting in front, like laying down in between your legs. Did he have a boner like I would? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't didn't ask him. That was a little weird. Nah, but it is kind of weird. We had a video that we did like a couple years ago when we went out into Utah and spent a night in the backcountry with uh, the Godfreys. And we went to like this TP. There was like already kind of like a lean to made in the mountain. And we spent the entire day not snowmobiling just building our stuff for the night we had food we had That's drinks amazing. we had everything it was super super fun the one of the cooler experiences watching the sunset and the sunrise but sleeping in a sleeping bag with all my warm clothes all the stuff in the snow cave i'd spent six hours digging and it was still brutal and i think about having <laughs> spending a night after That's, riding all yeah. day like we did today where you're it sopping wet and you're tired and you're hungry and all you want is a cheeseburger and having to spend a night out there would be, <laughs> it'd be awful. That's when you're good like, fuel you're, to get you're home. sitting in front of the fire, literally like drying your socks. Just so you my will to on. survive or my will to conquer is way stronger than my will to just like, okay, we're staying the night. I will oh, like, yeah. Yeah. until I'm bleeding out my eyeballs and my fingertips <laughs> are wore off, I am scratching and clawing my way out of anything or everything that I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that fight or flight. I just, 
grit, man. You can't teach grit. I just, Mm-mm. I grew up in that sort of scenario, you know, like you Canadians up, are built different. Grew up in a logging family. And it was yeah. just like when stuff breaks down on the log equipment, you do everything you can to get it fixed because every, every minute you lose is a hundred dollars or, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's carried into my career, whether it's competing or just like riding natural terrain or just mm-hmm. like, you know, even when I'm like going for a ride and we're out in the trees, I'm like, I'm intentionally trying to punish myself. I'm like, I think I get my snowmobile through that little like spot right there. And then I'll get just wedged in there. <laughs> like, well, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, dude. We, I mean, we say that all the time when everything goes wrong that you can't even imagine going wrong. Uh, there's always some kind of way to fix it or make the show continue to go on. Totally. Cause like, I mean, we figured it out on like all of our weird contraption vehicles. <laughs> like we don't Such really show the, the process of them breaking in the videos just to keep them moving. But like, so it's always such times. a disaster and we don't have a, any time to just be like, Oh, well, we can't do it. <laughs> like we have to post on Thursday and we always, well, I forgot out, to put the we always link on the chain and <laughs> yeah. 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 separate it. So there is something to be said about that. Like, like, being a problem solver for anything 100 percent, and just like and just figuring it out the will to conquer you yeah. know like i feel like that's just something that it just gets it's ground with you yeah it's like you just take you just keep taking the beating you know and come out the other side and it's like that that sort of like fulfillment is what i'm after like all the yeah, time i like. just love that feeling of like the satisfaction of just being absolutely ground down to nothing and then coming out the other side and just like high-fiving your buddy or like your group and be like, man, that was absolutely gnarly and we're like back of the trucks, you know? Yeah. yeah. What does David call it? It's type type two fun? Type two fun. Type two, type two fun. Type two fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. when you're having a bad time, but you're with your buddies. And then afterwards, <laughs> it's going to be really fun Our to talk about. Time. But in the moment, you're... Re- you hate it at the moment, but you look back on it, it's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Type two fun. I go with like Most the Tyler Beerman quote. The Tyler Beerman quote. Like that dude is gnarly on a dirt bike, but he's like, he's always just like, team never quit. You know, like it's true. The, all those top level moto dudes just get punished with injuries. And it's like, it's so cool to watch them come back and like and rebuild and come back better. You know, and it's like, I try and keep that mentality in my brain. You see me in my vlogs where I'll be like, I'll be so buggered up and just like everything that I've got, every ounce of energy to like, not be stuck Mm -hmm. come out the other side like oh so glad i never quit because if i quit it's concreted in and i'm going to be there for hours yeah i remember one time when i was riding with you grandpa it was me you and grandma and there was a guy at the grocery we were driving past the grocery store and this guy was getting arrested and you (laughs) and you pulled over and and we watched (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> like like we pulled over parked and watched and like, <laughs> like oh you want to watch and we pulled over. yeah oh yeah most people take most grandparents take them to like the zoo they're like, oh, like don't that. turn yeah. the other way oh yeah it's cool watch we yeah. pulled well, in well yeah learn not to get arrested that's yeah a, that's, yeah, that's a, true yeah. exactly right. yeah that's the underlying yeah. message yeah. <laughs> not the entertainment factor <laughs> yeah well, I, I think I, you were I, laughing during it you're uh, like <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> I had some great experience with all these guys, all my grandkids, so a lot of people. So, Man. but you gotta, you know, your live wide open is a perfect, you know, that's what you got to do. No, absolutely, you know, and uh, help people do things and yeah. hey, whatever. Man, I always say it, but like I really hope that by the time I'm your age, I've lived a life like you, and I'm still. Uh, have energy like you maybe i shouldn't exactly. say lived a life like you but just had a very fun life like you like that's what you've had so you can tell you get his head in hockey can't you by the way <laughs> but like you're, you're in such good you're in good condition and like you just like you can do a lot of stuff that most people 10 years younger and you can't even do well that's your fault <laughs> i mean dude one time i was i was skiing i was like a little kid and i didn't want to go inside when i was skiing so i just i just pissed my pants all really? Day. Yeah. Rental Wait, boots. All day? Yeah, yeah all fucking day. All day? Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, I was like a little kid. Like a little, yeah. little kid. You just kid. pissed your pants. Just, it was like kind How of little starting. could you have been? 15. I don't know. Probably like four or five. No way. Yeah. Ev, I hate to go this direction. Oh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to go this direction with the podcast, uh, which it seems like they normally do. But, uh, uh, the other day, I heard the beginning of a story 
of you getting your nuts cut open. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that happened. And 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 I said, "Tell me no more. Tell me no more. I got to wait till I hear from Evan on the podcast." So I've been waiting for this moment. What's the story? Yeah. Okay, so funny enough, actually, I swear, this is where the pods always go. I was in sixth grade when that happened. That was a hell of a year. A tough year. I oh. went deaf and blew my nuts apart. Jeez. Oh shit! Okay. Yes. Um. So <laughs> when we were kids, <laughs> we were uh, we had a bike jump. We were jumping off of like a flatbed skid steer trailer over a little creek. So it was maybe. Two or three feet tall, and we were just jumping out five feet to get over this creek. It was kind of muddy where we were landing, and uh, my buddy had my bike, so I was just going to run and jump with my feet over the creek up onto the trailer rather than off the trailer over the creek. So I just came running in full bore and jumped, and uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to make it, so I thought if I got one foot up on the trailer, I could pull myself up, and that foot that got on the trailer was just covered in mud, and it just slid. <gasps> so I basically, yeah, just ran at a full sprint and just jumped, did the splits, <laughs> <in> the edge, <laughs> like a 90-degree steel edge In the, like the, the thin metal on the back of a flatbed trailer? Yeah. I mean, just, yeah, 90-degree <laughs> angle. It's like the edge of this table. Okay. Um. Mm. So I so right away when it happened, I I got just like a normal nut shot where you like kind of get an upset yeah, yeah, stomach, you, stomach. you kind of get a hot really? flash, whatever. And I just thought maybe I was okay, like walk it off or whatever. And uh, my upset stomach wasn't going away after a few minutes, so I'm like, wow, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I I might need to take a poop. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. But even at, the, at six years old, this dude. No, sixth grade. So I was like thirteen. 12 or however old you are then so i and then you know but evaluate myself mainly i just was gonna go do it in private and go get in the bathroom and <laughs> a relevant part of the story by walking in the bathroom and the toilet just happens to be flooded to the brim <laughs> and it's like not what i need but it's, it's just that, that doesn't matter did go, you did you do in there an hour before <laughs> no that was somebody else it wasn't me <laughs> Okay. Go in there till it's already blown Shit, out. I Whatever. knew they should come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> so just try to ignore that. Start as soon as I start to pull my pants down or my underwear down. I notice there is blood. There's a massive. There's, <laughs> there's a bunch of blood. <laughs> Sorry. No. So I'm like, oh my god, and like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, British Columbia. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. No. No. So. I know there's blood everywhere, so, like, basically just kind of grab my sack and start, like, starting to look down, and there's, like, a little scratch or a scuff on top, a little a blood. Scuff? Yeah, it was just, like, a little abrasion. I, I don't really know what it was from, but I'm like, oh, this, this, <laughs> is, trailer. this is manageable, right? All right. Um, and then, okay. I, hate to, I hate to cut you off. Yeah. But uh, it's just getting a little too detailed, knowing that you're like 16 or 13 years old. For the for the sake of the story, Evan is now 18 years old. Oh yeah, yeah, I was 20. All right, carry on. Anyway, so uh, but either way, I, I I thought I found where the blood was coming from. Pretty real quick, no big deal. Actually, like was just gonna rock with it, and then some just didn't feel right, and I just like stuck my hand down further, and I just felt like an open wound, which turned out to be like six stitches i believe mm. but yeah and then i checked again found out that it was bad had to like go tell my parents so we're at kind of like a barbecue with a bunch of family friends and stuff and i like pulled my dad aside i was like hey look at this i think it's bad He's just like oh my god get your mother you're going to the hospital <laughs> dad i blew my balls out <laughs> but i think they're fine i think everything works like they're they're supposed to now <laughs> Dude, the, honestly, almost the most pain, though, was I waited too long to get the stitches out. So there was a couple that were kind of grown in. And I Ugh. could just, <laughs> the doctor with the tweezers, he's pulling on that stitch. <laughs> it's just stretching. You got your legs <laughs> open. <laughs> Before it finally, like, snaps out. Like, it's just. <laughs> oh, because the sack. Yeah, was just, just stretching going my sack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it was like if you were just plucking a pubo, but then it's like ultra it's just attached. Just, just stretched from here to here, but it's just a zip to get tie. It, you're fucking way out. Oh. So, so this might be too graphic. I don't know, but uh, was like the slice bad enough? Where like 
a nut could have just fallen out. Nah, uh, see, and that's what's weird. I think there might There's be like layers, layer still. layers, layers okay, of stuff. So and honestly, layer. I think it might have been a, a tear. Oh, like one ball went both ways. <laughs> oh, potentially. I don't know. I don't honestly know because I mean, could you get truly cut? It's not that sharp of an edge. It's yeah, like you through my jeans and all my clothes. It. I kind of think it was a tear. Yeah, that's, but that's that doesn't tough. make it sound any less painful, to be honest. <laughs> That was painful. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine if Ken would have suffered that trauma. <laughs> Dude, he's got doctor, a big We've never target. seen this type of blood loss. I mean, it's a huge, it, <laughs> he's way more probable for a nut shot. He's a, at way or higher risk. Dude, so do you ever get, like, uh, upset that, like, frat boys from the States take your lingo? Because I think your lingo is pure. I guess I'm kind of throwing it back to like how we, everyone thinks you're funny. But I think they take like frat boys and like whatever they like. They talk like how Canadians actually talk. I think it was the Nelk it, Boys way, of, it, like well, yeah, like kind of transitioning. That, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Lingo buddies, like, like they, you just I would, you, know, you could think like Steve's from like Canada. Do you? Yeah, so true. Does that kind of piss you off that like no, all I these frat boys are talking like that? No. Oh, it's it's like a sense of of. Uh, uh, what's the word, Ryan? Ryan's my word guy. Um, <laughs> oh, you're thesaurus. Uh, like, uh, like pride, flattery. flattery. Yeah, it's like flattery. Yeah, it, yeah, I guess so. I would say that. Yeah, I think Canadians aren't funny, man. Like American comedy, American movies, American commercials are way more funny than ca- Canadian. Ones. Do you guys even have like TV and stuff up here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what what's yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> what's your uh kevin from tuck 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 might not on the freaking <laughs> arctic ocean <laughs> believe that tv <laughs> what what's like Third your world country up, up here. here you canadians Dude, pretty low risk <laughs> that was a guaranteed yeah, crash you've done some gnarly shit you really have i mean uh, it's definitely gotten to a point where dude there's no no arguing the fact like we've done some crazy shit yeah yeah some shit that deserves respect. <laughs> like, what, I was wondering, wait, 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 I was like, thinking that so who many else, things. Who else on YouTube has like a, a catalog like ours where you can scroll through and be like, "Holy shit!" I just I, who else? None, none, no. There's like, no I way. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, load week to week to week to week to week. Uh, yeah, back to back. That yeah. one Russian guy. That, yeah, that <laughs> sure has a speed. Dude, the, I saw one today of him. Yeah, well, he tried to trying. jump between two buildings. Yeah, jump but, but with, with like a 10 yard run up. Yeah, and a bouncy shitty ass car. Yeah. I, I gotta just pop He wasn't that even wearing a up. helmet, bro. Dude, he wasn't? Was, no, he just crawls out of the. Like the car is yeah. literally ripped in half damn near, and he just crawls out the, the windshield. He's like, it runs off. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, that was the most gnarly thing I've ever seen. Not only Dude, did he fine. crash into a building at 15 miles an hour, he then fell four large stories to the ground. How is that Boy, guy's what's okay? Guy's name? He, like he does that all the time. Like he was in a hospital energy. for a while. Like he was hospitalized because he broke his back or something. No shit. It was yeah. on the, it was and on he's the... just right back to it. He's well, fine. The thing I'm about I'm sure everything that fine, he please. does, oh, it seems like almost half of it is like the purpose is to fail. I don't know. No, well, no I wouldn't say what about, looked like they don't the one have where he op- broke his back, he jumped into the ice. Like the yeah, car. He jumped the car, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, the no, ice that. one, he was all right. He tried to do this huge gap. Into a river. Yeah, that's right. Or and across a yeah, river. Yeah, across the river. And he didn't even come close. Okay, it look is. at how gnarly this is. Maybe it's when he doesn't come close. That's where I was like, well, like are going? these buildings yeah, abandoned yeah. or is this what it looks like in Russia? God damn. Oh. oh like that is violent. And then here I'll go to the next. Just the building crash was look, violent. Look at this shit, That's dude. That's what I mean. It, it crushed look at the this whole windshield. Up. Like, dude, the homies filming gotta be like. I, I know how. Look, I he crawls felt. right out. He's out. Bro. No helmet. Dude, Russians are built different. They're cheering. No he was oh, running away from no. the pain there yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> but I mean, I know how I felt watching Micah crash and compared to that, that was like taking a spill on a tricycle. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I know how I felt watching that and in the like sick to my stomach feeling in my gut and in my core. I was like, this was awful. So I can't, this is, that's too much. Let me see some other accolades of this guy. What else is he? Oh, been up this to? one's pretty crazy. And he's driving a Miata. 
Like, oh, yeah. like convertible, honestly, no cage. I don't think the point is to fail. I think yeah, it's I like he say, has to either make it or he dies. Exactly. What Bev was like, I think they <laughs> purposely fail. I was like, no, he he's couldn't even gotta. get someone with a camera moving. He had to set that shit up on a tripod. Like, same here. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bunch of those just jumping over. That guy's built. Yeah, insane. he's built different. Let me see the the yellow car one. The only the sad thing he's only getting fifty five k likes on these things, bro. Oh, the that other, was close, dude. The other wild thing about him, unless he's hurt, he's pretty consistent on putting uh, content out. Yeah, Which, and this, this is genre, when he broke his back. Yep, yep. Yeah, he goes to <sighs> just flat. Oh, like that is an how would that have gone back. better? Yeah, no, it's broken. Back. <laughs> I mean, hopefully making it, but still, it he just, did make it. Uh, kind of. Watch the ice one. I know what you're saying, Ben. As there's no easy landing to enter yeah. as, as far as like, like, like that. You're just He's yeah, like, it, like it, that. You're still you're still just. Head on collide. That's a good example. And Who'd I, he find to drive the other car? I know. <laughs> and I love how the bracing was just a two by six Dude, strapped to the roof. Those fucking old Russian cars that just. <laughs> this one's crazy like too. From the 60s. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's got 333,000 views. Like, what? This literally looks like he's trying to kill himself and fail. He doesn't have that many videos because I'm sure they all get taken down. Yeah, that's what a it is. Lot of these that is what it down. looks like, Ken. Failing. That's the best way to put it. He's just. Oh I remember God. hearing about this at the time it happened. Like, it was like, yeah, ben, Ben's all scun up because you got beat up at recess. Yeah, it was at recess. Yeah, I remember it. I don't really remember the content. What'd you do to, you, like, why would he go after you? I don't know. I'm trying to think of that. You were probably You were really mouth. small. <laughs> ben was really, really small. I, I could have been running my mouth. But that doesn't sound like something I would do. <laughs> yeah, man. I could see it. 